Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Team Fight Manager. This is a game that I played a ton when it first came out, and even over the like the first year of its uh of its you know of its life. I played it a ton. I got to turn down the in-game sound here for me. Um but I haven't played it in almost a year. Uh Steam said it was May 17th, 2022 was the last time I played it. So that was a long time ago, obviously. Um Game down. In game sound is still loud for me. Um, and I will mention, I don't have my green screen going today, um, because of the, it's because of the dogs. It's a long story, but anyway, no green screen today, so it is what it is. All right, so let's just jump into a game, new game. Um, none of my save games are here, uh, so I guess there's no cloud saves for this. Uh, so it is what it is. <laughs> I wasn't really planning to continue to save anyway. Hey, uh, Tenshi, how you doing today? Age of 18, I debuted as a pro gamer of this game. 18, I must have been a late bloomer. <laughs> During my 10 years career as a pro, I haven't lost the world championship title once. That's, that's pretty good results, 10 years, 10 for 10. After retiring from pro gaming, I coached professional teams for another 10 years, still. Never lost the world championship title. 20 years. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. It's amazing to see the numerous trophies that I earned throughout my programming and coaching career. Figured I haven't streamed in a really long time. I should probably stream. Just say hi to everybody. Um, other than, you know, I mean, obviously I'm active in Discord and all that, but I figured it'd be good. Am I really am I really a genius? What if it was just all luck? Good colleagues, just a favorable environment. I don't know. 20 wins and 20 tries. I don't think that's luck. I wanted a new challenge. I'll train the lowest ranked amateur team and help them win the world championship. Then I'll feel satisfied. The team I'll be in charge of is... Oh, I just realized I can't do New Game Plus. That's right, too. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Can't do New Game Plus. Because my save, it's my save files aren't here. All right, we'll be the luchadors. Um, I'm just looking for a better symbol. I don't know what what symbolizes a luchador. Something, one of the birds, I would say. Luchadors are high flyers, right, in wrestling. That I guess. Um, I'll give myself a mohawk. Yes, please. I can't grow a mohawk in real life. Just FYI. That's why I always want to have a mohawk in my character. My hair, when it gets longer, obviously you can't see it at this length, but it gets really curly. <laughs> can't have a... Yeah, I was thinking the bowl. That's why I picked it initially. Not the cow. Yeah, let's go with the, ooh, the bat. Yeah, let's go with the bull. Let's go with the bull. We had no new game plus. It's going to be interesting. All right. So, oh my God, it's been so long since I played this. Uh, and local talent. Yeah. Let's try to bring in some local talent. I think they're a little better than the players I have, if I remember correctly, because the players you start with are, are not good <laughs> at all. Um, but we'll see. We'll make it work, or we'll try to make it work. So yeah, there's just going to be a very specific pool of champions to pick from too at the start, right? It's just the basic champions. And it's going to be 2v2, which is going to feel really slow. Um, but yeah, is there anything else I want to do on day one? Can, you, can I not stream? Is that something you got to... Maybe that's just not unlocked yet? I forget, can't you... Where would that be? I guess it's not here. I guess it's not unlocked yet. 
the locket guy. So let's just move on to day two then. Practice match. Recruiting is the easiest way to increase the team's capabilities. Recruiting allows you to search for players that can immediately contribute to the team, rising stars with a bright future, etc. It's difficult to get good results without recruiting players appropriately. If you haven't tried recruiting yet, try to strengthen your team. I am a step ahead of you. Best way to understand the team's capability after being newly appointed as coach is to play a match. Choose an appropriate team before the season starts and request a team for a practice match. It will be the first step you need to take to have a successful season. All right, let's try the ball bats. I've requested a match. All right, so the recruitment will come through tomorrow. So let's try a practice match. God, I haven't done 2v2 with just the default, default champions in a really long time. Like a really long time. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't need. Yeah, I don't. I know how to play. <laughs> um. So. I mean, it doesn't really matter who I pick. Um. Let's go with these two. I do recall liking swordsman and monk as a combination during 2v2 like the first time i did it right oh my god there's so few <laughs> there's so few um the banning priestess that's fine now i can ban pyromancer they're gonna pick and then i get to pick two Ninja, perfect. That that works really well because Ninja is not good against Swordsman Monk combo. Oh, I don't get to pick back to back. Ninja Archer. Archer will be good against what I'm trying to do. But the ninja's gonna die a lot. Alright, so I thought I switched. Oh, I switched the wrong way. <laughs> I thought the bench was the active area. I took out my per my people that had the swordsman and monk. Um, so I'm off, I'm off to a great start. <laughs> I think I'll still be fine. The ninja's gonna die so much, right? Because the ninja the ninja's good at killing squishies, like backliners. I don't really have any backliners, right? Although, yeah, he's got them low. Yeah, this is going pretty well for me, as predicted. And then Ninja just jumps in. Oh, there's a Ninja's alt, though. Oh, Swordsman alt. Okay, that's... Uh, the Monk still has his alt. All the other alts are down. All right, there's the Monk alt. It's a big shield. Yeah, I'm pretty confident I have this in the bag. Even though it could go much better. So basically, if you... If I hadn't switched, if I had left it as it is, you get extra points. So basically, like, this person specializes in ninja, for anybody who doesn't know. Um, so they get, that's what the plus two extra points is. Yeah, 14-6, that sounds about what I figured it would be. All right, big win for the squad. And this is just, oh, this is a practice match, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm pretty sure it's best two out of three, right, usually. All right, so now we can use equipment. You can acquire them by crafting or by meeting certain conditions. Once you equip them, the equipment effect will be applied to all players in the team. I've acquired the hoodie. Management equipment. T-shirt. We have a hoodie. Attack plus one. I'll take it. All right, so we can't actually craft equipment yet. All right, so yeah, so 11 to each stat is much better than what I have. But now I'm broke. Like, I could search for this person, but I'm not going to have the money to recruit them. But we'll search for them anyway. Um, Because once the season starts, we'll start making money. All right, so we're going to train you attack, defense, and swordsman. Because I am, I'm go I mean, I'm not going to go swordsman monk every single match. But I'm definitely going to use it at times. Right? Like, it's good. I might as well use it. Proceed with the schedule. Yes, please. And now use the combination test function. If you use this function, you can simulate the relationship between certain combinations without having to play an actual match. 
Yeah, because I mean, what happens if Swordsman gets banned, right? Like, <laughs> needs something. But it's good. It's also good to have something reliable that you know you can take. Um, but depends what they do too, right? But if, if Ninja's gonna get picked a lot by them, no brainer, right? I mean, Fighter and Monk works just as well. Fighter and Swordsman can work. Um, Knight and Swordsman would probably be okay. Right? Let's see. Let's go Knight, Swordsman. Uh, and let's say, let's say they took Ninja and Archer again. How does this go in the test? No, well, it's close. Uh-oh. Now we're losing. Oh, there we go. It's close. And... It was close, but we won. Like, yeah, it's not nearly as good as what we took before. So it doesn't have a lot of damage. Well, I guess Monk doesn't really put out any damage either. Oh, Ball Bats are who we play. All right, so training results. Everybody's getting better. That's good. All right, sponsorship contract. All right, so... There's terms and conditions, obviously. Knight has um Knight has a taunt. And her ultimate is I think her ultimate's a shield for everybody, or maybe a, like a defense buff. Man, it's been a while. But no, Knight doesn't have a shield. Or doesn't have a heal. For sure. Alright, so for this one, Chief and Win Streak of at least four gives a lot of gold and a lot of um, crafting materials um, achieve at least rank four so we'll have to finish fourth or better achieve at least four wins win 2-0 four times achieve at least eight wins um, gotta pick pyromancer archer or ninja at least three times achieve 242 deaths or less in the regular season Achieve at least 264 kills. Achieve at least 304 kills. Well, this one's definitely the best reward. But no guarantee that it happens. But I'm going to try. I'm going big. All right, so I would really like to recruit this person. But I don't have the money yet. Oh, they have a perk. So players can have up to three perks. Um, the ones I have all just have ordinary, which does nothing. Uh, Monk's a better pair. Yeah, Knight Pair is better with a healer. Yeah. I mean, Knight and Monk, they're both just low damage tanky units, essentially. Um, but yeah, the Monk having the heal definitely helps. But I mean, if they don't take Ninja, or if I ban Ninja, then it opens up a whole host of other opportunities, or not opportunities, but potential combinations. Um, but yeah, this perk, attack speed increases by 5% when using a Marksman, which I believe... Archer is the only marksman right now. Uh, Archer. Yep. There's only one marksman right now. But new champions get added. Like, there's way more champions overall. And I think Sniper usually gets added pretty early. Yeah, something like the Priestess is bad against the Ninja. But if there's no Ninja to worry about, like Swordsman Priestess would be good too. Or fighter. Swordsman and fighter are largely interchangeable. Oh, you can't recruit new players in the middle of mid-season. That's right, too. I forgot. It's been that long since I played this. Alright, so you're definitely in. I want you as well. Well, no, because I you have swordsman. I do, Shrine Maiden is, I like Shrine Maiden more than most people do. <laughs> so let's go Shrine Maiden. I'll definitely try some different combinations. Especially because it's a best of three, right? Like I can experiment with stuff. And if it goes, if it doesn't go well, it's not the end of the world, right? Because it's a best of three. We can lose one and be fine. But I do need, I do need to put a win streak together at some point, right? To, to finish the sponsor quest. 
But it's also quite possible that I just don't win. Just because I won that test match or practice match, whatever you want to call it, doesn't mean anything. But I'm going to try Swordsman Monk again. If, if it's there. Especially if he's going to take Ninja, then, you know, if the AI is going to be predictable, I might as well punish him. Punish it. I guess the AI is not a him. Might as well punish it for being predictable, right? But yeah, so all of a sudden my Swordsman has all these stats. And attack and defense, obviously you want to have better attack and defense stats than your opponent. But it's not everything, right? Like... If you pick a better combination or just, you know, a good matchup. I'm, um, because this is the first time playing on this computer, new. I didn't have the option for New Game Plus, Etronix. I, I would have played New Game Plus. Um, so, yeah, I, don't, I guess this game doesn't go Steam Cloud. I don't know. So, yeah, I was planning to do New Game Plus. Because I find... 2v2 with just this limited pool champions, it can, it can get a little stale. Um, but I didn't really have a choice. I mean, it just gives you more, it just makes like attack makes your guy hit harder and defense makes them, you know, take less damage. Essentially, I mean, there is a formula, everybody has a base attack. Um, it's something we talked about it like, you know. Whenever we had like the multiplayer league going, I, I believe somebody posted, somebody knew the formulas and posted them. That was a long time ago. Basically, you want to have better attack and defense, but it's not, it's not the be all end all. If you draft a better team, a smarter team, team that goes well together or counters the other team, you can overcome an attack defense deficit, but it, it doesn't hurt, right? To have better attack and defense. Yeah, no, it's 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 not it's <laughs> it's not random, um, and like I said, I would have gone random given the opportunity, but it's kind of interesting going back to this because, I mean, I haven't played this specific pool of champions probably since my very first run, which is two years ago. Hey, Kitty, good morning. I guess it really is morning where you are, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll do this. We're going to pick a different team this time. Basically, I'm going to try different combinations. Um, unless I'm in a situation where I need to win, right? Because I really want to get this, uh, this sponsor quest done for the consecutive wins as soon as possible. And once that's done... Okay, so he went Swordsman. Huh. I'm going to go Fighter. I'd like to get Shrine Maiden or Priestess to go with it. Ooh, Arch Archer. Eh. I might not win this one. <laughs> hey, Sean, how you doing today? Hope everybody's weekend is going well. Yeah, this is uh, this is sketchy. But if we lose, we'll just go back to reliable <laughs> Swordsman Monk. So the fighter is similar to the, to the Swordsman. They're both somewhat tanky units that can do a bit of damage. Um, the fighter, though, fighter has a CC ability, whereas the Swordsman has a defense debuff. Like when he flashes his sword, when he does a little poof, 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 that debuffs my defense. Um, all right, so there's his alts. Of course, my alts are down too. I didn't even see the Shrine Maiden alt. Um, but Shrine Maiden's a healer who's not doing very much healing right now. Fortunately. Shrine Maiden's one of those units, and there are a lot of them in this game, that if they get buffed at all, they can be really overpowered. And there's been no buff. Oh, they, I am going to win here, I think. Or it's going to go to overtime at least. All right, so I got the win. That was really close. That was tight. Take the two bow. Hey, Ivan, how you doing today? Yeah, it's been way too long since I played this game. 
Yeah, I was behind. Oh, Ghost? When Ghost gets a couple buffs? <sighs> Although you can kind of say that about most of the assassins. But yeah, Ghost is probably... So for anybody who doesn't know, Ghost in this game, it's an assassin. It's a ghost, obviously. It floats into the back line. It, um, by design, it starts weak, but every time it gets a kill, is it a kill or is it kill or assist? Either way, whichever it is, I forget, it gets stronger. So sometimes ghosts will just feed all game, but if it can get ahead early, it'll just steamroll the game. So if it gets a, so there's patches in the game that improve or make worse buff or nerf champions. If the ghost gets buffed, oh my god, it can be ridiculous. You just, you just have to you just have to ban it. You just have to ban it, basically. Um, but werewolf, kill or assist. Yeah, I think you're right. Like it's just it's been a while. So this is champion statistics. This is across everybody. This is the win percentage. So pyro and priestess weren't actually picked. Ninja was picked six times. It won zero, which is kind of worrying. Because when the patch comes through, it's probably going to get buffed. <laughs> Although it has been banned and picked 100% of the time. I need to... <laughs> Sorry, I need to sneeze. <laughs> and it snuck up on me really quick. I couldn't even get out. I need to sneeze before I sneezed. So my sponsor, it's four in a row, right? Yeah, so let's just... Thank you. Pyro and Ninja get nerfed into the ground off and agreed. Archer. I've seen a lot of Archer nerfed into the ground. That's kind of, that was kind of a running joke in the community for a while. Because I'm trying to think, and I could be wrong, Etrunix. When I was playing this game a lot, you weren't part of my community yet, or am I misremembering? Maybe you were. I could be wrong. It's, it's so long ago. I remember you coming from Eco, but were you was Team Fight Man? Were you here for Team Fight Manager before? I should remember. I don't remember everybody's name though. From Team Fight Manager, because yeah, my Team Fight Manager stuff blew up really big at one point. Ooh, so no monk. Okay, TFM is how you found me. Cool. All right then. Um, so no monk. I'm gonna take the ninja away. Okay, so it's we're starting to see a trend here. If we leave swordsman open for them the first pick, I remember Zario, because you played in the you played multiplayer. I'm more likely to remember the people that played multiplayer with me in the leagues. Um so I need to blow my nose. That sneeze, you know, did things, loosen some stuff up. Sorry about that. So yeah, so if you leave Swordsman open, um, so Kitty, um, this game, uh, well, you played like League of Legends and or Dota or something, right? I think you said you played League of Legends. Picture the arena mode, which is just like a three for all with no lanes or anything. Picture the arena mode, but it's only two versus two, right? So we're we're managing a team of esports players in a in a, a MOBA arena. So I'm doing the picks and bans, picking what champions I want my players to use. But once the match actually starts, it's like an auto battler. We just let it happen. So it's kind of like a tycoon management game where we're running the team and recruiting players and setting their training and all that. And then we get to this point where we uh, where we have to do the picks and bans, which is where the real skill is. Maybe go for Pyro. I mean, there's no Ninja. Because if he goes, I, I feel like he's going to go Archer. Right? That's Well, that's what they did last time. I mean, I could just do Fighter Shrine Maiden again. I mean, you don't really need to remember. You just need to know 
basically it's it's a two v two in the arena, and each champion, like this is a healer, this is a an AOE area damage dealer, this is another healer. This one's like a pure healer. This one's a healer that does some damage. This one just heals. This is a tanky unit that can taunt. This is a somewhat tanky unit. This isn't, well, it's, I mean, it's an archer. I probably don't have to explain what the archer does. So I'm trying to think the other team, like, what are they going to take? So they took Swordsman. Oh, the Ogre Shadowmancer meta. Man, I don't want to even talk about the Ogre Shadowmancer meta. I'm going to, I want to see. If I go Fighter, is he going to go Archer again? Okay, he is. He did. Um, let's try Pyro. Pyro's not great here, just because Pyro wants Pyro does AOE and with it only two v two, right? But I do have the Pyro mastery, so this Pyro is going to be hitting hard. It'll be interesting. It's kind of you know frontliner. Range damage, frontliner range damage dealer in each side. But we did not win the initial skirmish. So unless I have better ultimates, I'm not like, oh, I think this is going to be a loss. So I need to come up. All right, so there was my fighter ulted. There's swordsman alt. There's the pyro alt. And there's the archer alt. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose here. Yeah, I just, I don't, I'm not saying Pyro is terrible. It's just, it's terrible in, with only 2v2, right? Because Pyro needs to hit more than one thing with its ability to shine. And you're just not going to get that. Although, you know what? I might tie this up and force overtime. No. I mean, it was close. It was 11-9. But it's clear... I need to first pick Swordsman or it's not going to be there, right? And when I'm second pick, I need to either find something that consistently beats Swordsman or I need to ban it. All right, so we had this game. Yeah, it was a close game. So you can you can affect their mood by your answers. So especially since I had this person with six Swordsman, especially, but yeah, Pyro... Once we hit 3v3 and 4v4, Pyro, oh, something in my eye. Pyro can really shine. I mean, especially now. I mean, Shrine Maiden has a bit of AoE, but basically, basically, there's no. So, what do I want to ban? I want him to take Ninja. Let's ban Fighter. So, I'm going to pick Swordsman and then one of the healers to go with it, probably. Yeah, once once the match starts, it's hands off. You're just the manager. Um, if I do monk, actually, let's do shrine maiden. Let's try this. All right. Yeah, I pick an archer a lot. Maybe I should be. I didn't want to pick monk there because pyro was still open. Yeah, you can see the heal there. Okay, so I did win that skirmish, but just, you know, barely. And he's winning this skirmish. I don't know, I need a good Shrine Maiden alt here or I'm in trouble. My four my four match win streak might be in jeopardy. All right, well, that's, those were okay alts. Well, the night alt didn't do a whole lot. Eh, it's still going, so I guess it did. Yeah, I'm going to lose. Well, unless those heals really start coming in. Kill, kill, kill the archer, please. Oh, this is going down to the wire. Actually, the archer being dead for as long as it was, I might win this just based off that. I feel like I didn't deserve to win this. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, there's no stupid questions, Kitty. <laughs> but yes. I mean, I'm sure there are similar games with something like that in a title where you do control the players. 
probably. <laughs> yeah, I did not. That was not a good pick, man. But the, you're starting to see some of the like appeal because we're learning the AI, they're prioritized swordsmen a lot and they also prioritize archer a lot, right? So how do we take advantage of that? Like what works good against those? Or if nothing works good against that, then I guess we got to ban it, right? Because I'm going to ban Swordsman because I don't want him to take it because he keeps taking it. So he's going to go Fighter. So that doesn't leave many options. I'm going to go Archer. I want to take the Archer away, and then I'll go Knight or Monk, whatever's still there. Or, hmm... <laughs> I'm tempted to go Pyromancer here. Because his two are going to be grouped together, right? But I'm so squishy if I do that. I know, I need, yeah. Well, see, Archer, I mean, Archer's not a frontliner. But Archer's, Archer's ability is if somebody gets in melee range from her, he steps back or jumps back, I guess, and roots them. For like a sec. Um, so that kind of works. As long as they chase the archer and not the pyro, I'd be fine. But I can't... Do I have enough damage if I do this? I mean, they don't have a lot of damage either. Yeah, let's try this. And my nose again. All right, sorry about that. But yeah, I've been fighting this, like, semi-cold for, like, two weeks. Like, I don't know about anybody else, but when, usually when I get a cold, you know, you feel it coming on for a couple days, right? And it's not too bad, and then it gets bad for a couple days, and then there's a couple, nobody's died yet. I don't have enough damage. Um, and then, you know, the cold goes away. Instead, I've had this, like, just mild symptoms... That haven't gotten worse or better for like two weeks now and it's just super annoying oh well, i didn't even kill anybody with the archer alt but i mean they don't have any damage either right they've only managed to kill me once oh well, there's the monk alt i'm not killing them now so yeah see the archer jump back there problem is though i guess it only she only roots one of them not both all right i just need to not die <laughs> but the knight the, the knight's super tanky but she doesn't have a heal and he does have a heal. Oh, God, this has come down to the water. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I think. Yes. Ah, 6-4. It wasn't even close. But, like, there's so many more champions. Like, what would we have access to right now? 12 champions? Maybe? Um. There's, like, 30 altogether. And after one season, instead of 2v2, it goes up to 2v2. It goes up to 3v3. And then the 4v4. It's much more exciting with 4v4, obviously. Your colds are usually two weeks long, but this recent one is going on four weeks. All I've been mostly doing is sleeping for 12 to 18 hours, because how we could... Yeah, well, that doesn't sound fun. All right, so training report. Okay. So the yellow bar is what they gained. So nobody gained... Like, it says plus zero, but they're all almost an extra point. Right? Team statistics. So we can see most picked, most banned. So if you look down here, it says we're going against the Angry Anchors next. So we can see the Angry Anchors like to take... Oh, look at that. Shocking. Archer and Swordsman. <laughs> exactly what I thought they'd like to take. Most... Not everybody. Archer and Ninja... But yeah, at least a lot of archers, a lot of swordsmen. A lot of, there's quite a bit of ninja as well. Interesting. Archer knight or monk fighter. Yeah, see, I, I like monk swordsman, but very similar to monk fighter. Monk fighters works as well. But yeah, archer knight can be good. I mean, I just won with archer knight. Um... Yeah, I, I feel like I just have a normal immune system. Like, I, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, my immune system is so good. 
but it's not bad either. It's just normal. Yeah, I don't know what this cold is. It's just annoying. And it's, I find in particular, it's bad in the morning. And then usually this time of day, the symptoms kind of go away. Then I find in the evening, late at night, it comes back. The symptoms come back. It's weird. Archers, in my experience, are awesome, but that might be biased. No, they are. It is a good class in this game. There's a reason why, you know, there was, there used to be a running joke in my community about archers always getting nerfed because they're good, right? And people use them. Yes, this game also has multiplayer for anybody who's new to the game. We had a whole league there the summer, summer of 2021. I think the summer and fall of 21 is when we had the league going, I want to say. All right, so let's ban, let's ban the archer. I have first pick here. Okay, so he banned the ninja. I do, I do like healer comps. I definitely like Shrine Maiden way more than most people do. Speaking of Shrine Maiden, I'm going to try her here. Because I think he's going to go double tank. So Shrine Maiden does have... One of her abilities is AoE, so it'll hit both. This is interesting. He has barely any damage. Shrine Maiden might be able to heal through that. Yeah, there are certain there are certain classes that I like more than most people. Shrine Maiden is one. Boomerang Hunter, like the league last year, um, like the ranked, the one that went through the ranked Discord. I uh, Boomerang Hunter. I was it was like a running joke that I was the only one who ever took Boomerang Hunter. We got here. Yeah, this is a pretty tanky matchup. It's not going to be a whole lot of kills. <laughs> Hopefully, my swordsman gets two with with his alt, right? But the heals are coming up big right now. I mean, it's not a huge heal, but it's enough, right, to keep him alive. Like he still hasn't died. He's about to, but. All right, so Shrine made an alt. Oh, the Night Alt's kind of... Oop, well, I got what I wanted. The Swordsman did get two with his alt. And there's his second alt. So we're good. Some people think colds and flus are hitting harder for people because of the reduced exposure to germs due to COVID measures. That could be. I mean, since I started doing this two years ago, I barely leave the house, <laughs> right? So, and like, I live with my sister. She also works from home. So she doesn't leave the house. Her husband, my brother-in-law, he does. He does have a normal job. And to get nerfed and snipers being introduced soon, yes. Sniper. Sniper is very dependent on the meta. I guess I would say it depends how prevalent assassins are in the meta. It's like the archer, because of her ability where she jumps back, you know, she's okay against ninja and other assassins, but the, the sniper just dies to assassins usually, right? So, pretty solid tried main performance. As long as there's not a lot of assassins in the meta, sniper can be really good. But it's not, sniper's not something that I typically, it's not high on my tier list. Like, I don't think it's bad, per se, but I don't like it as much as other people. So I want to leave Swordsman open again for him. I think I will. I think I'll leave Swordsman open. Um, I'm going to ban Monk. So I'm going to leave. I'm assuming he's going to take Swordsman. He might not, but I'm assuming he is. Okay. So then I go Archer, and then I take other Fighter or Knight. Ooh. I did not expect him to go Ninja. Uh, so we'll go knight because the knight has a taunt. Hopefully it'll taunt the ninja way. Yeah, you always ban ninja and pick sniper. Yeah, like yeah, the part where where I'm gonna come to where sniper comes in, like before there's other assassins. Oh yeah, he just banned ninja and then you don't have to worry about it. Hundred percent. Yeah, because sniper hits the sniper hits way harder than the archer. The archer's a little tankier, right? Basically is is the trade off. Seeing a sniper in this game would be interesting since usually they're built for high isolated advantage points. You like you'd like the sniper in this game, kitty. It's a redhead. 
All right, so that initial skirmish definitely went my way. Okay, but yeah, that one didn't. All right, we need to kill them. They're low. Ah, you got the archer too. I was hoping the archer would survive that. All right, so the knight got a good taunt there. Kept the ninja from killing my archer. My archer had a mediocre alt there, though. Hopefully the swordsman doesn't get two with his alt. No, nope. okay, he only got one. There's the ninja alt, though. The ninja alt's pretty good. But my knight alt is kind of countering it. I think I'm okay here. Yeah, I definitely got this. Ninja will come in, get the kill. That's fine. Oh, my knight's going to die. you got to kill the ninja. Kill the ninja. Oh, that was close. Oh, my. It's going to overtime, possibly. Oh, don't die. Don't die, knight. Don't. Oh, my God. That was close. <laughs> That easily could have went either way. Easily could have went either way. Kitty says, when I'm not an archer, I like to play healer or sniper. Why? When my brother made me play games like Halo or COD, I always went sniper if I could. I generally, like MMOs and stuff, generally I'm a healer too. Um, but yeah, I get that. Up to the point of 4v4, I think the meta is kind of predictable. It'll get interesting after that. Yeah. Agreed. All right, so this is just the meta analysis report. Knight counters swordsman. Swordsman counters archer. Swordsman counters fighter. Hey, look at that. Swordsman and monk. 100% win rate. I only took that combination the once, though, right? And swordsman and fighter is 7-1. and one. Yeah, so the, the poor pyro is not getting picked. It's a warrior meta. It, and... It's, it really is a warrior meta right now. Because it's just... We can upgrade our facility. It doesn't make sense to pick the, take the pyro yet. Alright, so improve facility. Let's take craft equipment. Now I can craft equipment. Hey, Trunix says, My Ma and I are planning to join the next eco server. If the testing of the patch doesn't drive you insane. I haven't even tried yet. I'm just waiting until they get it more stable and people are like, oh, hey, it's actually playable. I'm just not touching it because for that reason, because I don't want to go insane trying to, you know, trying to make, like, I don't want to try to make a guide about boats if my game's just going to be crashing constantly, right? It's just not worth it. All right, so Clever Campbells. Campbells? Camels. We're playing Clever Camels next. They like, okay, well, they like going with two tanks, it looks like. Swordsman, fighter, monk. So, like, if if I thought that he was going to go, like, if I left it open, if he was going to go swordsman and um, fighter, I could probably do, like, either monk or knight and pyro, the counter. Yeah, Katie, I saw that screenshot of your like your canoe type boat at the bottom of the river. Your boat randomly sunk. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's ready. I mean, they pushed, they keep pushing the play test back a week. And it's like, like, look, I don't work in game dev. I took like two university courses on Java programming. I've, you know, I'm very limited, but I feel like if if it's not ready for a play test of an early access game. So it's like, it's like double early access, right? If it's not even ready for that, don't put it back a week because it's not going to be ready in a week. Just push back a month instead of doing this one week pushback. They pushed it back a week like four times already. Just push back a freaking month. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to bitch about eco too much. <laughs> People are here for team fight manager. So I'm going to try, I'm going to leave Swordsman and Fighter up for him. I'm going to try to bait him into taking them. Oh, he, they're 3-0 as well. This could be spicy. Um, yeah, we'll leave these people in. If I leave, if I leave Swordsman Fighter for him, will he take them? But I think I need to ban Ninja for playing. Oh, never mind. Never mind. 
He's like, he heard me. He's like, yeah, I'm not letting you have Pyro. I tried. I tried to do something different. So. Battle of the Titans, yeah. All right, so I'm going to ban Swordsman then. Try Swordsman. I think if I left Swordsman, he would take it. Right? Is is my fear. So we'll go Fighter. I'm hoping for Fighter Monk. You wanted... But see, Swordsman Fighter are his two most picked. I feel like if I leave them... Like, I don't think the AI would let me have Swordsman Fighter. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Especially if I'm second pick, which I am here, right? Now, game two, when I'm first pick, I could probably try it. Especially if he's going to ban Pyro, right? Like, I'm sure that's why you were thinking that. Oh, I know, that's the plan, but... Like I said early, I don't want to take Swordsman Monk every match. And besides, the AI has shown if it has first pick, it's going to take Swordsman, right? So I'm trying to play around it, play around that fact, so to speak. Okay, can you kill the Archer, please? Thank you. Get a nice heal here. Oh, no, or Archer Alt. Okay, that's fine. Archer Alt is down. Monk Alt is down. Fighter Alt. Okay, all the Alts are down. I'm going to come out of this ahead. So I'm feeling good. So yeah, he's like super squishy. I'm tanky with a heal, but low damage. So even though he does a lot of damage and is squishy, it's still a relatively low kill count game. Yeah, no, I agree 100%. Like, when I'm first pick, especially, Swordsman Monk is kind of a no-brainer, but when I'm, uh, when he's first pick, I feel like they're not going to leave that for me, right? But yeah, that's why I have these two people, though, is to take Swordsman Monk, 100%. All right, you think you pretty much carried. Keep doing what you're doing. There, Peek. Oh, you didn't like that comment for some reason? <laughs> All right, game two. We're not playing around. We're going to try to get Swordsman Monk. And we're going to go Swords Monk. We want a ban Pyro. Swordsman, will he leave me Monk? He took Ninja like a sucker. Yeah, I feel good here. Because, like Ivan said, I have specialty in both, so I have him outstatted fairly considerably, right? It's, I mean, it's a good combination, period. Um, but yeah, with the with the stat advantage, I sh it should be a bit of a... It's going to be a mismatch. I feel like I'm going to win pretty big. Because Swordsman Monk into Ninja is pretty good. Although he's actually... It's a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Those were not great alts <laughs> by me. And there's Archer's ult. Okay, so his alts are down too, though, so we're, we're good. Kitty likes little details in the room where the head energy drinks pop cans. Gamers got a game, right? Gamers need their Mountain Dew and energy drinks. Yeah, I'm just drinking water. <laughs> I've never been an energy drink guy. I'm also not a coffee drinker. I don't know. I just don't drink... I'm not a big caffeine consumer, I guess. All right, so we got the 2-0. And more importantly, that means we won four in a row, which means we fulfilled our sponsor quests. We have all kinds of money and crafting parts now to do stuff. This is actually pretty tight. There's three teams, three and one. A couple teams really stinking up the joint. We got all kinds of money now. 1,848 gold. That's a lot at this point. All right, old Beth Jesus, <laughs> not to be confused with Jeff Bezos. Luchadors is on a winning streak these days. Do you think you'll advance to the finals? There's only one outcome for the best team. All right, so three of my, four of my players like that answer. One didn't. So on Terra, suck it up, bud. <laughs> All right, so equipment, crafting. So let's do, I have a lot of pieces. I 
long. I want, I just want one week. So that'll take one week. Let's see what that gives us. Hopefully something good. Basically at this point, I just want to get something in each one of my slots, right? Is my goal. Oh, I know people like that too, Katie, that have a lot of balls, cans at their desks. I've, I've had roommates like that, <laughs> believe me. Active albatrosses up next. They like monk, ninja, and swordsman. And archer, shocking. I mean, almost every team is some combination of those four and fighter. Oh, I guess there's some knight in here. But there's no pyro on this side. Though I guess there's only so many. It's really just pyro and shrine maiden that aren't getting picked. That makes sense because they're AOE based. And AOE is just not good when there's only two on each team, right? They'll be better later when there's three on each team. And then even, even better when there's four on each team. Like Pyro, especially if it gets buffed, Pyro can absolutely be the best damage dealer in the game. It's just not in 2v2. Drives you nuts. Oh, the cans? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's all kinds of junk on my desk right now. <laughs> There's just no cans. All kinds of junk. One thing I do too is anytime, anytime I eat fast food, the napkins, like I just have, I have a pile of napkins if I need them. I always, I don't throw my napkins if I get fast food. And I do get fast food too much. All right, so he has first pick. Let's take Pyro away. I think he's going to take Swordsman. Let's see if that's still priority. It is still priority. Okay. So we're going to try. I'm hoping to get Fighter Shrine Maiden. I don't know. I don't know if this is... This might be a loss. Especially since I don't have any mastery in either of these. Um, that's fine. We'll try. We'll try it. You have your gaming laptop, gaming stuff, some stationery and a book. Yeah, I mean, I got my notepad, you know, like I, I got a thing of spice on my desk. I got, you know, like I got a mask. Got an old charging block. <laughs> All kinds of junk that does not need to be on my desk. Anyway, how's the game going? We're losing. We're tied. We just had a good Shrine Maiden alt. Not a good fighter alt. And then the Archer had a good alt, so I'm in trouble. I think this is a loss. I just want to try something different. Swordsman's the meta right now, for sure. If you're not first pick, you kind of got to ban Swordsman. Although, heals are starting to come through here. This is a tie game. Oh, I wish my Shrine Maiden was full. Actually, I'm going to pull this off. Okay. Good. I still think Swordsman's the best thing, though. No occasional cats on my desk, though, here. I got a Swiss Army knife on my desk. So much stuff. Um, although I do use a Swiss Army knife from time to time. I'll try to use my ultimate a bit better. Were you the fighter person? It was close. 2v2 tends to be close more often than not. Um, I find once you get you get more champions, you get the um the the like four champion selection and the three v three and four v four, it's more likely to get uh, at a hand. And we haven't even mentioned Bird either. Bird is a character who does no damage, is not tanky, does not heal, but he buffs your characters. And Bird, Bird meta is absolutely a thing. Like, if you go back and watch some of my old Let's Plays, there was one where Bird was like, you either first pick it or ban it or you lose. Like, those were your options. First pick it, ban it, or lose. That was it. There was, like, no other option. They can try and made in a way for me. He didn't like losing there. All right, so we'll go Swordsman, and we can, I mean, we can go a lot of different things. He's going to go Ninja, we'll go Monk. 
like I said, I it's, I said I didn't want to go Swordsman Monk every match, and I haven't. But I am gonna, if especially if he wants to take Ninja. Does a bird try to get in people's pants to win as well? Um, I don't know what kind of birds you're <laughs> dealing with, Kitty. Is that a D and D joke? Maybe I don't know. Um, no, the bird here. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Maybe. <laughs> But yeah, the bird can be really good. But it depends on the meta too, right? He's bad against assassins. So it depends on how prevalent. Yeah, I'm not I don't play D and I've never played D D. So I mean I'm I'm somewhat familiar with some concepts from D D because they've leaked into gaming and fantasy, you know, a lot of tropes from fantasy or from D D originally. But yeah, I'm a weird I'm a weird gamer geek. Because I don't, you know, I've never played D and D. You know, I don't watch Marvel movies. Um, I don't read comics. I don't watch anime. But I'm still a gamer geek. I just, I just only do certain parts of being a gamer geek. <laughs> All right, so we got the two O. That's funny. I just said usually the matches are close in two v two. Well, here's the exception. <laughs> And a monk or the combo yeah it's just I've, I've a lot of people are surprised by that sometimes you know when i say oh you know i've never i've never seen a marvel movie i actually did watch a few marvel movies last year last year i don't know sometime in the last couple of years but up until that point i'd never seen a marvel movie um yeah anyway equipment all right what do we get come on be something good as long as it's not a uniform, I'm happy. <laughs> not only is it a uniform, it's like the worst one. And the reason I didn't want a uniform is because this is the slot I already have something in. And I want to fill all the slots. So let's try like this. See what we get. <laughs> People look at me funny when I say I haven't watched TV in like 15 years. You have zero clue what's on TV? Yeah, that's, hey man, that's fine. You know, I like I said, I don't, I don't watch anime and I know a lot of, like a lot of people in my community do and that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's just not my thing. At least your players finally now have clean underwear. That's a very good point. They're just walking around the team house with a hoodie and an underwear on and that's it, nothing else. Um, all right, careful cats. Yeah, so the swordsman's here, but it's not quite as prevalent. Yeah, priestess, pyro, and shrine maiden. Other than me, <laughs> there's no nobody's picking those. But hey, they'll get buffed. I'm trying to remember. Is there because this isn't new game plus? I'm not sure. Is there a mid season patch or just an end of season patch? Anybody know? I forget. Archer's getting nerfed. Arch I mean, in theory, Archer and Swordsman at the very least should be getting nerfed. Um Stry Maiden and Priest is probably getting buffed. Although Shrine Maiden does have a hundred percent win rate, she's only been picked four times. Whereas the swordsman, look at that. The swordsman, the swordsman's been picked 41 times and has an 85% win rate. Stola says, closest to DD I've got is the old DD movie and Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I, I did see the old DD movie and I have played Tiny Tina's Wonderland. So that's about the same for me, Skull. <laughs> I mean, we've all, yeah, Katie, we've all been there, been associated with stereotypical gamer stuff. Because you grew up with Gamer Boy. But I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, I forget too if there is. I think there's a miss. Yeah, because I think if you put them on more frequently, there's like a patch at the quarter mark as well. Archer actually. Okay, Priestess hasn't been picked. I'm picking Priestess next game. I'm hoping for Priestess Swordsman. Yes, the game in the game gets patches. When when we're talking patches, we're talking in the game. 
So like my game and your game could develop completely differently, especially like if you go, this isn't new game plus, this is just a normal game. So like the, the next time there's a champion introduced, I'm pretty sure it's sniper. Is it just sniper? I know sniper soon. What else comes soon? Magic Knight? But it's the same order. Berserker. No, Berserker comes soon, right? Sniper and Berserker first? Anyway, but if you put it on random, it's a completely random set of champions, and then they get passed differently. So my archer might be amazing, and your archer might be garbage. You're loyal to the cats? That's fine, Kitty. I got my win streak. Um, Because, man, last year when I was streaming this game a lot, People would come in the stream and be like, hey, try this combination. It works for me. And it's like, it's like, oh no, that that's cool that it works for you. But <laughs> just because it works for you and you're safe doesn't mean it's gonna work for me. I have a completely different set of champions with completely different stats. Right? Anyway, that's just a pet peeve of mine. Um doesn't matter now. Yeah, they get buffed nerfed depending on how they do. Um, th there's definitely... Oh, yeah, he is first base. We did Swordsman, so I can't go Swordsman Priestess here. Go oh, Monk. I love Archer. No, okay. Um, double heals? This is really low damage, though. <laughs> okay, so swap them so this person gets the Monk. Um... Yeah, there's definitely a random component to the to the who gets nerfed and buffed. Because sometimes, you know, like swordsman will probably get nerfed here. Um, or it should, but you never know. Because <laughs> there's definitely a random component to it. And also when you're in New Game Plus, you can change how frequent the patches are and how like deep the patches are. Right? And so you can make your game really chaotic because the meta is always changing, which I find interesting. All right, so that was a pretty good archer alt and a pretty good swordsman alt. Okay, I had some decent alts there too. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm still behind by one. I think I'm going to lose. Swordsman archer is pretty good, right? I just don't have enough damage with the double heals. Yeah, okay, I'm definitely screwed. If my Shrine Maiden had survived that, I had a shot, I had an outside shot, but she didn't. All right, so yeah, no, it, it's pretty clear if you don't, if I don't have first pick, yeah, either get A, ban Swordsman, or figure out how to deal with it. Archer Ninja works for you, Luch, you should try it. I know you don't. <laughs> no, it's all good. But no, I, I like I I remember there was one specific time somebody suggested something, and I was like, I was just like, okay, that seems. Oh, Ice Mage is something that gets it gets introduced soon as well. Um, yeah, they suggested something, and I was like, I was like, how does that even work, or how does that counter what I'm having trouble with? Like, they couldn't give me an answer, but then they were mad that I wouldn't try it. And it's like, but, it, you know, I was in a situation where I really needed to win, um, you know, to make the playoffs or whatever. And they're like, oh, and anyway, whatever. It literally bothered me. It was a year ago, and I'm still talking about it. Try Monk Knight for double tank. I feel like Swordsman's good against that, though, right? Because Swordsman shreds tanks. So if you look at Swordsman, their skill, which they use every 3.8 seconds, use an attack that reduces enemy defense, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll, I could ban Swordsman and try it. I could definitely ban Swordsman and try it. Um, So let's ban. I wanted to try Swordsman Priestess, right? So let's ban Ninja. So I want to try Swordsman Priestess. Because it has priestess hasn't been picked yet, right? I want to pick her. And I think Swordsman goes good with it. Monk Knight won't die, but won't really kill either. Yeah. Like Monk. What would Monk Knight be good against, even? 
It'd be bad against Archer. I feel. Ooh, I do have Priest Mast, Priestess Mastery down here too. He says, I had Cody get MGT2 and he likes it so I can see him liking this. Oh, the I really like this game. And uh, it is such a hidden gem of a game. It's just a shame that the developers basically abandoned it. But yeah, Eternix, if you're making a new version of this game, definitely um, you need somebody to play test it. Um, come to me and or just my community in general. Definitely give it a give it a go. All right, so we won the initial skirmish. Knight, it, Knight was a good pick by him because I don't have a lot of damage, right? Because the priestess literally does no damage. She doesn't attack. All right, so he had a good archer ult. Wait, my swordsman already ulted? I do not remember that. Oh, why? Oh, he got taunted off the archer. That's not good. This is going to be a loss. Oh, and I already lost game one. Oh, wait. Kill the archer. Kill the archer, please. Oh, my God. If we had killed the archer there, we would have been fine. Because now he's going to go for the knight. He's not going to kill the knight. Oh, no. Kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her. <laughs> I'm not sure if I deserved that. I'm not sure if I deserve the win. Because, I mean, there's still... There's no way you can tell me that there's no development space for more champions in this game. Or more maps. Or whatever. Right? It definitely is. And I don't... I feel like if they were making a part two, I feel like we would have heard about it. Right? But, yeah. Alright, so... I will try to use my ultimate a bit better. That's fine. That's how you grow. That's how you grow, man. Oh, yeah. So many things. So many things. Yeah, we clutched that one, man. All right. So I'm going to ban Swordsman because I don't want to deal with it. So assuming we get set, we have second pick here and we're banning Swordsman. What do we want to try? So if I ban Swordsman, he's probably going to first pick... What, probably Archer or Fighter? I would say. Yeah, playing this against other humans is a completely different game. Completely different. So he banned a Monk. I'm going to take Fighter. And then either Archer or Knight, depending on what he leaves me. So, so Ninja is not going to have fun here. <laughs> but I have no heals. I'm tanky, but I don't have any heals. He does, yeah, you know, this is not, this is not a guaranteed win, especially, I don't, like, he has some stats over here, right? So this archer would be tough. Yeah, the patches, the AI in the patches is a little sketchy. Um, For anybody who wasn't aware, at one point we had a league where Alyssa, for anybody who's in my Discord, Alyssa the Lamb, she like ran the league and she manually did the patches based off who was getting picked banned and who was winning and all that. And her patches were so much better than the AIs. It made for a really super interesting meta. All right, I'm barely winning these skirmishes. Actually, I mean, she ulted there. All right, okay, so she, she had a good archer ult, but I had a good fighter ult. So here's the ninja alt. So we just need to survive this. It's all tied up after the alts. And he's about to go ahead, but ninja's low. Okay. Uh, get in there, knight. Jeez. I think I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose really late. Or... No, never mind. I'm not. Or... Oh... I came down to the wire. You've discovered with management type games, I have an attention span issue. That's one good thing for me because I only play them like half an hour at a time usually. <laughs> right? I make an episode, then I stop. So I don't have to worry about that. But hey. Hey, a loss is fine. A loss is fine. Trinity says, I'd love to play a league, but I'm never sure if I can keep up with it. Yeah, we, that was the problem. I don't know if you, Zario is still here. He could speak to this, too. Um, 
once you start not having full amount of people, like AI can fill in, right? But it's just when you're used to playing against people and then you go against the AI, you realize how bad the AI is, right? Your butt clenched for that. Yeah, it was funny. It was like, oh, I'm going to lose. Oh, no, wait, maybe I have it. No, no, it's a loss. No, maybe I have it. No, nah, it's a loss. <laughs> it, it was went down to the water. All right, what? Are we, please not a uniform. Something else. Okay, a chair, an orange gaming chair. So we can sit in our chair with our underwear on. But plus two defense. So that's plus two defense for all my people. So that's good. I just realized you can like see my grocery bags there. <laughs> that's what the, that's what that is, by the way. Right here. Here. That's my grocery bags. <laughs> yeah, my my sister and who I live with and her husband, they left for the Dominican earlier today. They're gone for a week. So I'm home alone with the dogs. So I didn't want to close my door, right? Since I'm home alone with them and you know, my sister just left and all that. So I want to leave my door open, but if I'm leaving my door open, I didn't want to put my green screen up. Cause it's just a thing where you like lift it up. Cause I know the puppy will like knock it over or might knock it over. He hasn't even come in yet. Um, they, they did go for a good walk this morning. So, so anyway, um, that's why I'm not using the green screen today. All right, so this is round. This is the last match before midseason, where we can recruit this person. We're definitely going to. All right, so what else can we? I, for, I forgot that I had all this money. Where is the thing to recruit better people? Okay, so you got to go here. It's 300 bucks, 500 to unlock this. Yes, okay, so we're going to recruit. Yeah, we'll recruit this person. Then we'll try to get an even better person. Hello, Hip Twisted. How are you doing today? All right, common chickens. Who do they like to pick? Swordsman, fighter, archer, knight. No surprises there. No surprises there. Yeah, this match is pretty stale, so I'm hoping, I'm really hoping there's a patch here to shift things up. But this is why, generally speaking, after the first run, I do New Game Plus and I do Random Champions because this particular group of champions can get stale pretty quick. But I haven't done it in two years, so it's okay. Yeah, it's been over two years, I think. Since I uh, since I originally played this. All right, so I have first pick. So we're hoping to first pick Swordsman. Insane difficulty. I've done, I played insane difficulty. Problem right now, uh, hip twisted. This is on normal difficulty because um, since the last time I played this, since the last time I did content for it, this is a new computer. And I didn't even realize it until I went to actually start to stream that none of my save files were there. So I can't even do new game plus if I wanted to, right? Which means I can't pick the difficulty. I can't pick random champion pool. Gotta, I got to start a 2v2. So yeah, so this is just boring old 2v2 right now, um, unfortunately. Did I win the game that I had Priestess? I lost with Priestess, right? I think. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> All right, so he's going to go Archer what? Anyway, I'll just go Monk. I'll just go Sword and Monk. Go with what works. Right. Especially because I got the stats, right? And away we go. Should be an easy win. Sword and Monk. It, it's, I mean, it was my go-to combination the first time I played this two years ago. It's my go-to combination now. And I think they actually buffed Monk. His Monk was literally like the worst champion in the whole game for a while. Yes, I agree. But I haven't played this in a year, so. 
I mean, I am doing well, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, Steam said uh, May May something. Last year was the last time I played it, so I'm definitely a bit rusty. But I agree. And I mean, I'm sure if I had realized it, my save files weren't there, I might have been able to like get my old computer out and like import the save files. I'm assuming it um it must not have Steam Cloud. Does it not have cloud support? Anyway, for all these people who have pets, don't let them learn to open drawers. It's cute at first, but gets them. I can imagine both of our dogs are capable of, I mean, they, they know they know how to push open a door as long as it's not like shut tight. But if you shut it tight, they don't know how to like use the handle. But if you just push it and don't close it tight, they both absolutely know how to, they'll just, they'll just push it open. They don't care. They, they do not respect. They do not respect privacy. But yeah, hip twist. I have played insane difficulty before. But I linked that I linked I linked some of my old playthroughs in the description, but I don't know if the insane difficulty one is there. I also did an interesting run. I put some rules on myself to make it harder. Um I had a run where Anything I picked in game one, I wasn't allowed to pick in game two. Anything I picked in game two, I wasn't allowed to pick in game three. Or was it, I don't remember, was I, I think I, if I had to pick the game one, I couldn't pick it in game two or three, maybe. I'd have to go back and watch it, but that made it really interesting. Made it really interesting not being able to pick things. And maybe I'll do that in the second half of this season. Just because it's uh, it's going pretty well. It's pretty easy. You watch my insane, yeah. I mean, it's been a while, so I'm rusty, but I'm you know I'm not that rusty. And even that that one loss, um, you know, I tried some stuff. I experimented just for fun type thing. All right, so they have first pick. All right, let's think about this. I want to let them have swordsman. What do we what do you folks think we could take that would beat swordsman if I let them have it? I'm curious. Like what do people think what would beat swordsman? What can we try with pyro already banned? I mean we could do like fighter monk. Fighter for CC. Yeah, like, I'm thinking Fighter Monk might be good. Archer Knight. Ivan says, yeah, that could work, too. Um, I'm going to take away Shrine Maiden. See what he does. Is he actually going to take Swordsman? All right, well, he didn't even take Swordsman, so... Um, I guess I'll take Swordsman, then. You know, good old, good old Ninja Archer. Now, let's just get this win out of the way um, get into the mid-season break get the patch and that should hopefully change the meta a bit Archer no, kitty kitty bad kitty no ninja archer <laughs> I mean don't get me wrong ninja archer can win but not against two tanks right it's just it's just not going to win against two tanks well ninja anything is not going to win against two tanks Basically, that's the thing with Ninja. Oh, he had some, he had a good archer out there. Not going to be enough, though. Yeah, I, I assume you'll see a swordsman all or a swordsman nerf. Hopefully. <laughs> this, the swordsman meta. Swordsman is pretty oppressive. If archer had some traits, maybe. Yeah, if he had some some dps improving traits on the archer and i mean actually i barely won that i well i i kind of stopped paying attention um or it, i mean if the ninja had been buffed you know what i mean i mean if stuff's been buffed or nerfed changes everything but with these base 
I mean, oh, careful cats. Tied. That's the team that that's the team that beat me, obviously. Well, I guess not necessarily. Um, yeah, that's the team that beat me. They're right there with me. I do have the tiebreaker because they went to game three a lot more than I did, clearly. Oh, I just realized. Okay, we'll talk about the patch here in a sec. But I just realized I um oh, I thought you were just doing the I thought you were doing the joke again, Kitty. Or you were you were doing the joke again, right? Um I forgot to craft more equipment after I got the chair, I think, didn't I? Alright, so sniper and ice mage. Priestess gets buffed, her attack speed goes up. So Priestess doesn't do damage, but her basic attack heals. So having attack speed on Priestess does make her better. Um, attack on Shrine Maiden definitely makes her better because the amount of her heals is determined by attack and she does do damage. So those healers are better. Um, so Fighter is a lot squishier. He lost 25. 25? Yeah. He lost 25 health. The Swordsman lost a ton of base attack. The Ninja and Archer... Yeah, it's that's the problem when you start with 2v2. Some things just they're barely usable 2v2. Um, so Ninja and Archer did get nerfed. But I'm gonna be honest, neither of those are huge nerfs. Like the fighter and swordsman get nerfed harder. Like Sniper. Oh yeah. This does change the meta. For sure. So like knight be good now. Possibly, I mean, Sniper, like, ban Ninja and just take Sniper. Even though the Ninja was nerfed, I still think the Ninja is good. That's not enough of a nerf to make the Ninja bad. Same with the Archer. I mean, that's .04 attack speed for the Archer. And our attack speed is pretty low. You don't want to lose any. Archer Ninja is an actual joke combo. Oh, I thought that's what you made. I thought that was the joke you made earlier, the same combination you suggested earlier. It is because... It's, it's a joke just, just for this run. It's not like a meta joke overall. Because it seems like every time I took Swordsman and Monk, the AI took Ninja and Archer and just lost. Yeah, Sniper is great. Well, that's, the, that's what I'm saying. Just ban Ninja, first pick Sniper, take whatever tank is there with the next pick, you probably win. And so Ice Mage, um, some Sniper is a glass cannon. Pure damage, no CC, no tanking, it's nothing. The Ice Mage is also range, range damage, less than a sniper, but she does have CC. Obviously, she her ability, she freezes people. Yeah, Ice Mage, I, I thought it was Sniper and Berserker first, honestly. So what, what is next? Berserker and Lightning Mage? Next? And hey, oh, our trooper, how are you doing today? Anyway, I guess I can show exactly what Sniper and um, Ice Mage do here. So Sniper, pretty high base attack, um, high range, very squishy, very, very squishy. But every five seconds, she continually fires a gun, deals major damage. Her ultimate is just a big grenade, it's a big AOE. This ultimate's not great here. In 2v2, the ultimate's much better once you get to 3v3, 4v4. But she's the best single target damage in the game at this point. So Ninja, I don't know if you've noticed Ninja when, when Ninja gets picked. But yeah, so Sni yeah, Sniper Knight, Hip Twisted would be, would be amazing. Um, so the Ninja teleports to your squishiest character and like and hits them hard. Right, so every three seconds teleports to an enemy and attacks, causing a bleeding effect. So if if you have a ninja versus a sniper, he'll be teleporting, and this doesn't say it specifically, but it always teleports to like the the squishiest or the lowest health enemy, or usually. So what's gonna happen is the ninja's gonna teleport to the sniper and just kill it because it's so squishy. Now, Knight does have its taunt and might be able to save the sniper some of the time. But yeah, sniper is good if ninja is not a threat 
And the Ice Mage, every three seconds, deals damage and freezes an enemy. So this is like a stun. They're really frozen. And her ultimate is a giant circle. Slows down enemies within a certain range. Afterwards, freezes all the enemies in that area. This ultimate can be amazing, but it can also do, like, literally nothing. Um, and now I realize Berserker's not in the game yet. But when Berserker comes in the game, this potentially shuts down the Berserker ultimate pretty good. Yeah, if I'm planning to take Sniper, definitely ban the Ninja. It's right, so a weekly activity, so we can do a stream, special training. Uh, we're not going to do any special training yet, because one thing about this game is don't get too uh, connected to your players, because you're going to replace them multiple times over the course of a save file. Berserker is also very sensitive to buffs and nerfs, I find. Very sensitive to buffs and nerfs, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I, each runs, I do like Ice Mage, especially if it gets buffed. And it's better, yeah, it's better in hot in things higher than 2v2, for sure. So let's do a stream. Load has the most fans. So we just make, make some extra cash with this stream. 40, 40 bucks. Nice. And set you for what training? Three points. Swordsman is still potentially usable. But, yeah. Berserker becomes your main tank. Yeah, I, I like Berserker. Sniper, ta Taoist. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about Taoist. That could be a good one, too. Priestess, yeah, Priestess and Berserker can be amazing. So the Berserker... Um, the way the Berserker works, his base stats are low. He's got a lot of health, but his attack and defense are low. But as he gets lower in health, his base stats go up. So yeah, so he's really good with a healer because basically what happens is he gets about half dead and then he starts hitting really hard and then he gets healed and you get him down and he hits hard. So he's, he can be hard to kill with a healer and still deal with good damage, but he's really sensitive to buffs and nerfs. I mean... You could argue most of the characters are sensitive to buffs and nerfs, but Berserker is one, in my opinion, that is more sensitive than than most. Yeah, it's easy to pick. Yeah, it is different when you're playing against people, um, for sure. <laughs> but you can absolutely, at times, like. I've absolutely been outpicked by people and I've outpicked people. You know, you, you can bait people into taking something, you know, something that's always banned. All You leave it all of a sudden and then you take something that counters it and you're like, oh, I just got baited. Like that's happened to me before. And maybe I'm just bad, right? But. but yeah, if there's interest, um, we could try to get a league going, but streaming, you just get a little extra gold. Here, I'll, I'll I'll show exactly what it does here this time, Kitty. All right, it's recruitment. So, yeah, look at the stats here. Oh, Sloth. Okay, Sloth is a negative trait. Attempt for weaklings. This one, so pri prioritizes attacking enemies with low HP. It can be good if you put it on, like, an assassin-type character. It can be good, but it's not always good. Or it's good on something like Ninja or Ghost that has a movement ability. Um, but if you put this on like anybody else, like if you put this on a swordsman, he'll spend half the match just running around chasing somebody. So this can be bad. Um, so I don't like. Uh, I'm just gonna pass on this person for now. So, so yeah, streaming, um, weekly activity. So streaming, um, the more fans you have, the better result. So basically, stream with an ad, 100% success rate, and it awards approximately 28 bucks. If we go with this one, we have a chance of failing. It only has a 73% success rate, but we get more money. Like this one has a big fail rate, right? It's only 23% success rate, but it rewards way more money. So it's just more money. Stream is just a way to make money. 
if you don't want to do one of the other things like mental training. Oh, we could try to change all traits. How much does that cost? That's only 500 bucks. So we could take, let's do it. Let's recruit this person. Recruit. And then let's mental training. Change all traits. And hope we get good traits. <laughs> Just hope we get good traits. All right, distancing is good, especially if you're going to be taking sniper. For the league, it's more about keeping up with it. Like if it was every Friday night, we play for an hour or two, depending on the day. Yeah, I think we did, God, I think it was Sunday afternoons. I think we did when we had it. I believe. But again, we had eight people and we had a couple of subs. So it was going really well at first. Then people stopped showing up or like, you know, somebody's team was garbage. So they stopped showing up and then nobody wanted to take it over. So then you had like an AI every week and, but it was really good when we had the full amount of people. Really good. All right, so Raynaud. I guess I don't need a whole bunch of people because I can only can only use two of them at a time, right? Uh, just be, because it's two v two right now. Yeah, we. I don't think you could do it just when people were on for that. Yeah, it has multiplayer. It it got added at a certain point. Like if you were watching when it first came out, there was no multiplayer. Like this game came out in like, I think it was like March of like two years ago, so 2021. And I think the multiplayer patch came out like in early summer, I wanna say. And I could be wrong, but somewhere around there. Oh, well, let's try the 50 50. Let's try the coin flip here. Yay, success. 65 bucks. But yet, excuse me, not only can you do a league, but you can just do a friendly match. Like, you know, just randomly pick one person, do a best of three or a best of five or whatever. You can even, you can select the champion pool, you know. It's like if, if you both hate playing against Devil, for example, which I do, I hate Devil. I hate playing against Devil. Um, you can just not include Devil in your pool, right? Which is great. Oh, and for anybody who's not familiar with the game, once you do get up to like 3v3 and 4v4, there is more than one ban as well. It was a full release, I'm pretty sure, Kitty. They, they did patch it a bit after release because they added champions like Cook and Ogre and Shadowmancer and Werewolf and Lancer. There was a few more weren't in the original game and, Paul, and multiplayer wasn't in the original game. But it was full release, I'm pretty sure. They they put out patches for about six months. And then they just stopped. <laughs> and I don't know, they might have done like a couple of bug fix patches after that. But yeah, it's too bad because like, I don't know. I feel like this game could have been really good. All right, so who do we want to take out? We want to take out you, we want to take out you. Include you and you. Yeah, so we got our three best people. I mean, I might as well just fire these four at this point. I'm not going to use them. <laughs> I don't want to pay them, but. All right, well, this is like good halfway point of the stream. I am going to take a quick AFK. I'll be right back and we will jump into a match.
All right, I am back. Let's jump into it. Churning says, I think the set game keys will be taken and made into something more. The problem is adding stuff makes the match itself longer. You need to balance time span versus what you get. Yeah, no, this is a good game. Um, Ivan says, I read there's this gladiator guild manager. I played it. I've done content on it, if you're curious. Um, I, I did a Let's Play and I've streamed it a couple times. <laughs> I, that's another game that I haven't played in a while, though. So I, I can't. I had fun with it, but it it's early access. I can't specifically speak to how it is right now, but it was pretty good when I played it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, the time balance seems nice. League of Legends style map with the lanes. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do a one minute match <laughs> on a three lane League of Legends style map. All right, so I'm hoping to get Sniper. <laughs> I don't have first pick though, so. Well, all right, so I'm getting sniped. So now I regret my ninja ban. <laughs> we Who Are About to Die is another Gladiator style management game. I have not, I think I've heard of that one, but I haven't played it. Um, all right, so how do I deal with this? Uh, <laughs> I should have known that that might happen. Monk? Monk and what, though? He says, I think if the game let you build and design the game house, I'd probably play just to make the ultimate game house. Shrine Maiden Sniper. Oh my god, he's squishy. Archer, Archer did get nerfed, but uh, maybe Ice Mage for the CC. I, I don't have much damage, but neither does he's squishy though. I don't need a lot of damage. Sniper's OP. Good luck. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do. Yeah, I should have known as second pick. I, I, oh, that worked. The the CC worked. Eh? Yeah, I should have known as second pick that he might take sniper, but but now I know. I'll, I'm gonna try to get my own. Okay, so apparently we're fine. <laughs> All right, so there's sniper alt. There's try maiden alt. There's Ice Mage Alt, which ended up doing almost nothing. <laughs> but I'm winning pretty hard here. I'm just I'm surprised the monk is this tanky. I thought the sniper would be doing a much better job of chewing through the monk's health. I don't think Shrine Maiden wasn't the right pick for him. He should have done almost anything else. That was that that was his problem. It's a bad combo. Yeah, I even I agree hundred percent. Any mage beats ADC, yeah. So yeah, my ice mage, I haven't really talked about this. So you can see the stats. So the ice mage did a thousand damage, took a thousand damage, healed zero. But that's more damage than the sniper did, because the sniper was just dead all the time. Right? Um monk. Did 500 damage, took 1,000, almost 1,100, healed 625. Yeah, Sniper, yo, I agree. He he did well. I mean, he sniped the Sniper from me. But I think the only thing worse than Shrine Maiden would have been Priestess, <laughs> right? You, 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 I was going to say, you, need, you don't need, but you really want a tank to go with Sniper. Kitty now wants to play his Sims 4. I assume you TS4 is Sims 4 to make a game house office. Your performance with Monk was top notch. Or it was pretty solid at least. And this is with this person. This era was like their mood. 
So I think they get less like attack speed when they're in a bad mood. That a proper tank sniper can't 1v1 even mug. Yeah, sniper needs, sniper is amazing, but it needs support. It needs the right comp. Which I'm hoping, oh, he took Knight away. Well, I can still take Monk. Or Swordsman or Fighter, but I'd rather, I'd, I'd, I'm hoping for some, for Sniper Monk here. But we'll see what he leaves for me. Shrine Maiden, all right. Yeah, Sniper Monk should be good then. So he went Fighter, Shrine Maiden. Fighter's kind of squishy now because it had been nerfed. Um, I know he has Monk, but I want distancing. I know it's only 5% attack speed, but because he's in a bad mood, that nerfs attack speed, so I kind of want the distancing to kind of counter the nerf. Stry Maiden was buffed, right? So I, I get it, kind of. Trunix has been playing... You've been playing Sim 4 the last two weeks. You get the urge off and on and play for like a month solid and stop for a year. Oh, I'm like that with like so many games at Trunix. I mean, you basically just described me as a gamer. <laughs> That's my problem. Um, I'm, I'm a game hopper, right? Big time. I'm a big time game hopper. All right, well, there's his two alts. They're doing some work, though. Decent sniper alt. Oh, wait, did the sniper alt not get the Shrine Maiden? He is pretty tanky, though, even with the nerfed fighter. Like, I'm not getting a lot of kills. Actually, this is... I might not win this. Is sniper not as good as I remember it? Like, I thought with the with the fighter being nerfed that I'd have no problem. Well, I guess the Shrine Maiden... Yeah, the Shrine Maiden's doing some serious work here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Am I... Um... Yeah, this, this, this bad mood or condition... It's not called mood in the game. It's called condition, I'm pretty sure. That was... I mean, it was close. It was right down to the wire. Is it worth benching you till your mood gets better? I forget exactly what the malices are for being in a really bad mood like that. I mean, is it worth losing, like, 10 attack and defense? I mean, this person has distancing as well, so. Stride Maiden did get a big boost with attack, right? Stride Maiden is good now. I mean, I don't know if it's, like, must ban or first pick worthy. All right, well, he's just going to take Sniper out of the equation. Is he going to first pick Shrine Maiden here? Okay. Now I'm like, what do I take? So he just beat me with Shrine Maiden and Fighter. Like, I'm scared. Like, I was thinking, like, Monk Ice Mage. But is, a, is Monk Ice Mage going to have enough damage? Monk Fighter? Is that going to have enough damage, though? I know, like, Swordsman... Ah, that Swordsman attack nerf. I'm scared if I if I try for Knight F Monk Fighter. I'm scared if I try for it. If I t Whichever one I take, he's going to snap the other one up, I think. Right? Like, I, I don't know if I can get it. I don't think I don't think Pyro is right here. I do have distancing, so I'm thinking maybe Archer? Like distancing will make up for the, the attack speed that the archer lost. You think mage? Like ice mage when you when you say mage, or you just mean any mage? I'm thinking. 
I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try Fighter Ice Mage. Yeah, see, I, I knew I wouldn't be able to get Fighter and Monk. I don't know, Pyro, it, it just isn't good right here, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, distancing does nothing, which is, yeah, which is why I was leaning towards Archer to get the distancing bonus, but I know it's only 5%. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, that's double heals. I, I might not have enough damage here. There's a very real chance I don't have enough damage. Yeah, no, I, I do not. I don't know. This is not it. <laughs> Tried made no P. Look at that. He's almost full again. <laughs> that, yep. No, this is. Oh, yeah. I should have took Monk. Should have taken Monk just to say he couldn't do double heals. Yeah, no, I still, I still haven't killed the Monk. Yeah, that's Shrine Maiden heal. I mean, the monk has his own heal. Hey, I finally killed the monk. <laughs> like, he even survived my alt. I mean, Ice Age malt, Ice Mage alt doesn't do any damage, admittedly. Pyro could hit Shrine Maiden? Pyro wouldn't hit the Shrine Maiden, though. Pyro would just still be hitting the monk. I'm curious, why, why do you think the Pyro would hit the Shrine Maiden? Is there something about Pyro's AI that I don't know? Like why if the ice mage didn't why would the pyro? Or you just or do you just mean her AOE? I don't think the shrine maiden was close enough. Maybe some of the time it was close enough. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it, it's not that big though. Maybe. All right, so shrine maiden is obviously moved up the tier lists <laughs> yeah that swords made that sword swordsman nerf really hurts because the swordsman would be really good in this meta right if he hadn't been nerfed and i mean he still might be decent he still might be usable all right so he's in a slightly better mood He's in a good mood. So I got double distancing. <laughs> All right, I got first pick. Oh, I agree with you. I, I'm saying that it, it's not big enough. It won't hit her, is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, I, I agree. If, like, her, her, her alt, yes. But her normal ability, the circle isn't that big. I don't think the I just don't think the shrine main was close enough to get hit by it more often than not, right? Now there might have been times where she went close enough, but I felt like they're not gonna let me have sniper. All right, so fine. I'm taking shrine maiden. <laughs> Uh, fighter or swordsman? I kind of want. I want to see if swordsman is still viable. I think it is. I think it's still viable. We'll see. I could be wrong. But yeah, if we can, if we can bait him into taking shrine maiden in game two, especially if I win game one, then I I can try pyro. But I I just think. Like her, her, her ability is not the circle isn't that big. Is what is all I'm saying. I don't think the shrine maiden would have been in it. Right, I could be wrong. I haven't used a lot of a lot of pyro lately. Right, I just used in that one match. So yeah, swordsman's still viable. But you you kind of it's certain only certain comps. Yeah, the it's, it's two separate 1v1s right now. The swordsman can't kill the monk. <laughs> the fighter can't kill the shrine maiden. I'm slowly winning both 1v1s. No. Shrine maiden lost. But that's that's kind of funny. Neither one of those 1v1s. One death. He killed me once. Oh, yeah. No, that was all shrine maiden. 
I mean, she healed 800. That's twice what the monk healed. And she dealt over 1,000 damage. So, I, I mean, Swordsman did so much damage because he didn't die, right? If you don't die, you're just constantly dealing damage, right? Yeah, Swordsman's still viable. I'm not saying he's good. I'm saying he's viable. He just doesn't hit as hard as he used to. Like, if that had been pre-nerf Swordsman, that would have been a lot of damage. <laughs> Your performance with Swordsman was top-notch. Yeah, he just didn't have enough damage. He couldn't he couldn't have damage to Shrine Maiden's heals. Alright, so can I... Can I bait him into doing Sniper Monk again? Just so we can try the Pyro? Oh, leave open Shrine. Well, I knew he was going to do Sniper, right? No, I did not know he was going to do Sniper. So, yeah, I'll just take Shrine Maiden then. <laughs> Can the Shrine Maiden outheal Sniper damage? But yeah, if this, that is definitely worth a try. At some point, leave the Shrine Maiden open it, or stop banning Ninja. It, it got a small attack speed buff. Right, like its burst from its ability is still there. Like its base attack is still high. Like I think the ninja is still good. It was not a big, it wasn't a big nerf, in my opinion. I think it's still viable. Yeah, swordsman has that defense debuff. Ooh, maybe it's not going to be enough. Okay, if we can kill the sniper here, okay. So technically we, we came out ahead there, but it was pretty touch and go. It really depends what kind of alt sniper gets, honestly. I would have liked to have had a better swordsman alt where it gets both. Alright, so sniper only got one with her alt. Shrine Maiden alt and monk alt basically cancelled each other out. Oh come on, can we kill the sniper, please? Got like three health. Thank you. So yeah, Shrine Maiden is is OP, folks, is the lesson we're learning here. That swordsman was under 5% health like four times before it died there. But yeah, I, I didn't see both the ninja and archer had attack speed nerfs, but I feel like they weren't huge nerfs. Yeah, careful Cats just doesn't lose, apparently. Let's look at it. I forget. I, I want to look at it again. 0.87 default is 0.95. So that's like 10% attack speed nerf ish. A little less than 10%. I feel like for the ninja, like especially for the sniper, that quick burst from the ability and the bleed will still, I don't know. I think ninja is still viable. I feel like if we leave Ninja, like, here, okay, here's the thing. Ninja against Sniper is still good, right? But the Ninja into the Shrine Maiden, I'm not so sure if that's good, right? Because if the Shrine Maiden gets a heal off, it's not even that big of a buff. It's only six attack, but... Seems to be doing work. <laughs> um, yeah, the archer attack speed nerf was was less than 10% as well. So I think ninja and archer, excuse me, are both still viable. I mean, everything's still viable, even the stuff that was nerfed. Yes, Herbston. Her the, the um her attack stat determines the strength of her heal as well as the strength of her attack. But yeah, I, I kind of want to know. I want to test it. I want to see. Is Ninja viable? So he has first pick. You know what? I'm going to ban Shrine Maiden. 
I'm hoping he takes Sniper. And if he does, then I'll go Ninja. Of course, if he doesn't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Okay, he did. All right, so now we get the test. Especially with the Ice Mage Band. Knight. Ninja Knight. Yeah, I think Archer is still fine as well. No, no, actually, let's give the ninja the extra stats. Oh, I got to get the linked ultimate. I like having my alts separate. I feel like this should be win, yeah. I mean, it depends on the ninja. Okay. The ninja was almost dead when it teleported to the sniper, and it still killed the sniper before it died. I mean, my ninja just died for the first time. Yeah, the ninja's still basically one tap in the sniper at this point when it teleports in. So that's all that, that's all that really matters with the ninja. Yeah, I don't I don't think attack speed really hurts ninja that much. I feel like its base attack is more important than its attack speed. Even its health. Actually it's cooldown. Having its cooldown on its ability nerf sucks for the ninja. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm in the same boat, Ivan. Ninja still, you know, beats Sniper, but I'm not sure if it beats Shrine. <laughs> One way to find out, we can try it, right? We can try. But I'm first pick. Please ban Sniper in the next match. I am going to ban Ninja. Yeah, I think I I think you're right, Hip. I think Ninja would be fine against the Shrine Maiden. It depends if if her ability is up or not, right? Like the the little bit of a heal she gets from her basic attack, I don't think it'd be enough to keep her alive. But if her ability is up, I don't know. Could she kill the Ninja before? All right, so one of my people wants me to ban Sniper. I'll do that to make them happy, even though I don't I'm not really scared of it. All right, well, I'm going to take Shrine Maiden. Let's see if they take Ninja. Okay, so he went Ninja. So let's go Knight. Hopefully we can taunt the Ninja. Oh, you know what? I could have went Shrine Ice. Eh. Ninja Ice Mage. I don't know if that's it, Chief. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. I'm hoping the Warrior taunts the Ninja off the Shrine Maiden. But, I mean, it's game two. We won game one. So even if we lose here... It's, it's a good test of Shrine Maiden versus Ninja. Okay, so the taunt worked. The Ninja did not kill the Shrine Maiden. Hey, the Knight is taunting like a boss this match. Ooh, even without the taunt, the Ninja still didn't successfully... Get there, he finally got the one tap. The, that, the Knight is really sick of being frozen right now, I can tell. Ice Mage with a completely useless ult, which is good for me. Oh my god, even with even with its alt, the ninja barely killed Shrine Maiden there. Yeah, I don't think ninja counters Shrine Maiden. It takes multiple instances for the ninja to actually get in and get a kill. Yeah, even without even without a taunt there. I mean the knight did eventually taunt. Yeah, obviously with the knight. But even without the knight, I'm not. I wouldn't be confident taking Ninja against Shrine Maiden. But the taunt kind of skews it in my favor, so it's it's hard to judge because of the taunt. Yeah, the Shrine Maiden is nastier now. Careful Cats just does not lose. I mean, they lost once, but that was a long time ago. Feel like they lost. They lost like one of their first matches, and they've not lost since. Ninja counters fighter. Ninja counters monk. Knight. Well, okay. Knight countering ninja makes sense. I feel like knight countering monk and knight countering fighter are just coincidences. Although this one's twelve matches, but ninja doesn't really counter monk. Goes with monk. Ninja and ice mage together. Yeah, it's five and one. It's not something I would pick together. 
Ooh, so now it's a support meta. It was a warrior meta in the first half of the season. Mages are actually getting some pick now. But I mean, this is... It's a support meta, but it's really a Shrine Maiden meta, right? I, I don't think the Priestess is getting picked much. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is. No, it's still not being picked. Oh, the poor Priestess. Ninja actually has a 90% win rate right now. So I give a Ninja like... Both of its only losses, one of them for sure. Yeah, it's clearly a shrine meta. I do, th I mean, Priestess did get a little buff as well. I think it was to her attack speed. So, but it's, it, see the problem with Priestess, like if Shrine Maiden or Fighter, or sorry, not Shrine Maiden, if Swordsman, why would I say Shrine Maiden instead of Swordsman? If Swordsman or Fighter, if either one of them had gotten through with no nerf, I think either of them with Priestess wouldn't have been bad. Right? But because they both got nerfed, it's, it's not good. It's not good enough. In my opinion. But I'm a little bigger fan of Priestess than most people are in my opinion. Well, I'm just a bigger fan of the healers than most people are. You get a ban Shrine Maiden? No, he bans Swordsman. Well, I'll go Shrine Maiden. Sniper. So probably Monk. Double heals. Yeah, double heals be good. Oh, this is a tanky Monk that actually does a bit of damage. I mean, Fighter Sniper is a decent combo, though. I f I'm feeling good just because of Shrine Maiden here, but that's not a bad pick. Especially because with the with the Fighter nerf, um, Fighter's a little squishy, right? Which is good, because I don't have a lot of damage. <laughs> I would have liked to have killed the Sniper there, though. Uh, the names of the teams are interesting. Yeah, it's just random. Or it's generated. Well, I guess it's not random because each icon has a name. I guess it's it's not even random which one you get. He hasn't killed me yet. I even survived their alts. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? So, yeah. So, it goes through the alphabet. So, there's an A team, B team, C team. I guess it's more than one C team, though, because there's the cat, right? But, oh, well... After this, we'll go, or remind me to go look into the standings. So like, but like later on, when we move up to like semi pro or whatever the second level is. I think it's semi pro. He didn't kill me at all. Shrine Monk is OP. It'll be like later in the alphabet, so it'll be like gigantic gorillas and happy hippos and you know stuff like that. Whereas this, it's at the we're at the start of the alphabet right now. Anyway, that's really not really other another here or there. Not so clever Campbells. Yeah. Campbells? Why do they say Campbells? Camels. Camels. All right, let's go. Let's get the 2-0 here. I'm just looking forward to playing the cats again. Right? Like, we gotta get revenge. They beat us. All right, so they want me to ban swordsmen. No, they want me to pick swordsmen. I would love Swordsman Shrine Maiden. Um, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure if I leave Shrine Maiden open, they're gonna take it. Ninja Ice Maze can counter Shrine. This depends what they have with it. As long as because yeah, it would turn into two. What I've suggested would turn into two 1v1s. Right? Well. Is the ninja to be on Shrine Maiden? The Ice Mage would be on their tank. It depends what they have. But if they had Archer with Shrine, I feel like that'd be bad for the ninja. Um. 
All right, I'm going to ban Monk. I'm pretty sure he's going to take Shrine Maiden. He did not. Well, I will. And hopefully Swordsman. Oh, he took Ninja, though. I'm going to take the... I should... I, I probably should have done Knight. Right? This is what I probably should have done. But I'm going to give Loda their requested pick. And then they're gonna we're gonna lose, and then I can say I can say this is why you let me do the picking. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean the stride maiden's back to full health. Though <laughs> so the ninja's having a bad time. Oh, very, very good Ice Mage ult there. Oh, well, my Swordsman completely wasted his ult just to make up for the Ice Mage ult being terrible. But the Ice Mage ult can be very good against certain characters. And, I mean, any big circle like that obviously is going to be better when it's more than 2v2. No, the Ninja did kill the Shrine Maiden four times. But, yeah, no, it's... I can't believe he didn't... I'm. I, I'm red. I didn't have first pick. I'm surprised I got Shrine Maiden. But hey, I'll take it. Yeah, not so clever Campbell's. Campbell's, Campbell's. Well, I did it again. Like, I don't even know anybody with the last name Campbell. I don't know why I'm... I keep saying Campbell. Oh my god, the careful cats. So yeah, so alphabetically, there's two to start with A. B, C, right? And they're always double. Like, is there a name for this? Like, two words start with the same letter? I was going to say alliteration, but alliterations, that's not alliteration. Alliteration's different. Alliteration's like, like Ashley Ashby is uh, alliteration. Isn't it? Oh, oh, it is alliteration? Well, I guess Ashley Ashby also starts with two A's. Anyway, not important. All right. So I have $1,000 in contracts I'm going to have to pay at the end of the year. Not really, though, because I'm going to fire half my people. More than half my people. Because I don't need them. And I don't want to pay them. <laughs> Ever. There. I only have to pay $600. All right. Um, equipment. Yes, I forgot to craft more equipment. Because I am not smart. Active albatrosses. Let's go. Bring it on. Graving some soup? I mean, maybe? Not. I had a nice breakfast there before stream. I had, I guess, brunch. I had breakfast for lunch. I don't, I don't eat breakfast. I don't know. I don't like eating when I first wake up. All right, so I do have first pick. So. Am I, is it safe for me to assume that he's going to ban Shrine Maiden yet? Has the AI figured it out yet? Let's just ban Pyro. Let's just leave everything open. Okay, so he did ban Shrine Maiden. Oh, so now what do I do? <laughs> your mom doesn't like eating when she first wakes up as well yeah i mean i know i'm not alone i know there are other people that are like that but i, I don't know so i was like that i wake up i get my water monk yeah monk's hard to counter right like i'm think the problem can't take sniper because then they take ninja can't take ninja because then he, he might just take two tanks i mean ice mage is a solid pick but yeah i agree with hip monk is solid and Monk's hard to counter as well, right? Because now I can just do Monk Swordsman. Or Monk Fighter. Yeah, I agree, Ivan. Monk Swordsman is still good. Ooh, Sniper? Ooh. That's... This is spicy, though. This might be trouble. I think the massive stat advantage I have will be enough that I shouldn't have to worry. But if I had equal stats, I might 
No, the ninja's gonna die too much. The ninja's gonna die too much. You have two painful hunger pains not to eat when you wake up. Your sleep cycle is messed up. Yeah, I mean, I know my sister's like that. Like, she needs to eat in the morning. And, like, like I can go, you know, I can skip meals, right? Like, I'll be hungry, but it, it's fine. I, I'm, But, like, my, my sister, she can't skip meals at all. She doesn't need a lot when she eats, but she needs three meals a day. Me, on the other hand, I never have three meals a day. I have two some days. I have one other days. But, yeah, this is going pretty good. But again, I wonder how much of it can be attributed to the massive stat advantage I have. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Sniper needs... Sniper needs a tank. It's too squishy. Like, it maybe if the, if the ninja's health had been buffed a bit, maybe this becomes somewhat viable. But that's not the case. <laughs> The ninja's health has not been buffed. So it is what it is. All right. It was. It was top-notch. It was pretty solid. Um... Breakfast is usually the only one you can't skip. Otherwise, only two one, two small meals. Yeah, I'm more of a, like, I eat twice. Like, my, my brunch isn't a terribly big meal. But my my supper meal, whatever, I usually eat quite a bit there. All right, Sniper, you can go right ahead with Sniper. I mean, I was tempted. I was thinking about trying it. But if you're going to leave me Shrine Maiden, then I'm going to take Shrine Maiden. Like, it's just... Like I have these two people with distancing, right? That makes me want to take somebody. I mean, both of these have Monk. That one's more, but I, I want, I'd rather my Shrine Maiden have the better stats. Um, Shrine Maiden's too good to not pat, to not take, right? It's just too good. I think I'm not going to be able to go with no deaths this time. Sniper does too much damage, but... This it's not gonna be close. I don't think. So yeah, Kitty, so you I guess you weren't around when I initially played this then, eh? Or well there's two separate I initially played this two years ago. I know you weren't around then. But this time last year I was playing a ton of this too because um what happened, it was March last year. Um there's a fairly big YouTuber um, Retromation is his name. I don't know if any of y'all watch him. Um, I do occasionally, um, even though he's my competition. <laughs> but he 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 did a video on this game, and it was just one video, right? And it was like, yeah, he, he killed me once. Um, he did one video, and he wasn't planning to go back to it, but people were like, I want to see more of this. And I don't know, it's probably still not the case, but back then... If you search for Team Fight Manager on YouTube, like the top ten results, like nine of them were my videos, right? So I remember, I, I remember waking up one Saturday, or it was like a Saturday afternoon. I checked my analytics, and I had like ten times my normal viewers, and they were all Team Fight Manager videos. And I was like, "What is happening?" But people watched Retromation play this, and they wanted to see more of it. And they came to me. And, I mean, some of you folks might have even found me that way. Yeah, there you go. Eternity says that's the reason you found me. So because of that, I, I streamed this game a bunch around the same time last year. Then I kind of got burnt out on it, especially because, like, if the if the developers had continued supporting this game and doing patches, I'd probably still be doing playing this game se at least semi-regularly, right? But they didn't, so... Here we are. Yeah, I, I was, yeah, like this, I had like, this niche is completely me. Like there was barely anybody else played this game. I'm sure some people played it after Ret Retromation did. But yeah, anyway. 
it was pretty cool it was pretty cool when i checked my analytics and was like what is happening why am i getting all these views and then i realized it was because of him so even it's funny right like even though i can say oh i'm so jealous of him i wish i had his numbers and you know you know having him play this game was a massive boon to me oh careful cats this is the big one folks you can't see because my face is in the way but careful cats coming up this week yeah okay so you did you did know you just haven't never watched it yeah okay I guess because it's been so long since I streamed, you figured you'd come, even though it's not. This isn't a game that you you care about. So they like Ninja Arch, but I feel like Archer. That must be a remnant of the first half, right? Because nobody's picking Archer in the second half. I don't think. Oh no! No, oh, it's been picked three. It's been picked three times. It's one, two of those three. Oh, wow. Stride Maiden's win percent is only 55. Excuse me. Um, I feel like she has like a 100% win rate for me, though. That means everybody else's win rate with her is actually not that high. Right? Wait, is this, in, this isn't, is this including first half? No. Oh, here's the whole season. You can see the whole season. So Priestess was picked once. That was me. I won that game? I guess I did. He does videos on all things indie? Yeah. No, it's... There's a few people. Um, him. Um, Wonderbots. Um, I, I think... My my thing with, with those guys is I'm just jealous because they always get early access to games. So, like, I'll see a game and I'll be like, oh, I should do a video on this game. And I'll just put it in YouTube search to see. And like, you know, Wanderbots, Retromation. Um, there's a few other people who do sim who do all these games. Yeah, there and there's a bunch of them. What are the wholesome verse, I think they call their group that they stream together. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just it can be um, what's the word I'm looking for? Disappointing. It's not just disappointing is the wrong word. Discouraging. It can be discouraging when I'm excited to go play a game and I realize that all these people have had videos up on it for a week or two already, right? But it is what it is. And to be fair, I, I don't do a good job of reaching out to developers. And if I did, maybe I would have had early access to. Um, like there's... Um, there's a guy named Glider Cat who started doing YouTube around the same time I did. He does indie games. Um, but yeah, that that's the question, Terrence. Because well, uh, uh, let me tell my Glider Cat anecdote here. Um, what do I want to ban? Ninja, I guess. So anyway, I've had conversations with him. He does he does um, factory building automation types game games mostly. Um, but he, uh, yeah, he started around the same time I did. He's doing, last time I checked, he's doing better than I am for subscriptions and stuff. But we've had conversations on Discord and he reaches out to develop. Like he's barely, he said he's only paid for like two games because he's always reaching out to developers. So maybe if I reached out more, you know, I am over 3K subs now, right? So maybe if I did reach out more, I would get, I would get more keys, right? And that's on me. That's on me, 100%. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm lazy. Yeah, and like, there's two different things. There's getting the games for free, and there's also getting them early. I'd be happy with either one, <laughs> right? So, anyway. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good here. Yeah, that's one downside. Yeah, it, it, it makes it hard for, for smaller streamers for sure, Kitty. I'll be getting EA to anything I release. Hey, man, let me know. I know um, Goose. Goose has been working on a game off and on too, and I told him, you know, 
I'll play it. I'll play it on stream, man. I'll I'll do a let's play for it. Just you know, get it in a playable state and pass it off. Yeah, man, this whole eco thing is just disappointing. With the with the update and the status of it. And I get it, they're a small team and it's a very complex game. I'm not trying to criticize the developers. It's just I wish their estimates would be better. Cause I based like I based my schedule around their announced schedule. And then they can't keep up to their schedule, right? So it it screws me over. Right? And and there were other things like you know, uh, two months ago, I was like, "All right, we got. I know what I'm doing for the next two months." You know, Sons of the Forest comes out on this date. We're gonna play that together as a community on a dedicated server, and then you know, by that time, we'll be able to play Eco. But then, what happens? Sons of the Forest doesn't release dedicated server files, so all of a sudden, we can't do Sons of the Forest, right? And then, so then we quickly did Minecraft instead to fill the void. But mine, mod, mod in Minecraft is not for me. I found that out very quickly, right? And then, and now Eco keeps getting pushed back. So it's like the whole last two months, I thought I had a nice schedule and it's been all thrown out the window. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that too much. So we won that game easily as we as we knew we would because we had Swordsman and Shrine Maid. <laughs> the opponent sucks so bad that this would be an easy match. Easy there. Let's just maintain this performance. And Sons of the Forest still hasn't released their dedicated server files. It's like two months later almost. You're going to start your career as KDE goddess of YouTube? <laughs> you're going to stream? You're going to do Let's Plays? Let me know. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, you know, I'll let you advertise in the Discord and stuff. You don't know if they ever will? Oh, Sons of the Forest? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the whole thing, instead of delaying their game, like they were planning a full release. Instead of delaying it, they released it in early access. Right? And yeah, I feel like the version they put out is pretty bare bones, school. So hopefully by the time we do get to play it, it'll be a better version of the game. Um, and my other nitpick with the eco right now is I feel like there's absolutely no reason they needed to put the boat. I said this in Discord already. They did not need to put the boats update and the settlements update together. Like that could have been two separate updates. Ooh. Did I just get outpicked because I'm too busy talking about other games? I think I might have. I think I just got baited. I got a, I got baited hard because I wasn't paying close enough attention. Um, oh, the monk band too. Like, do I do fighter or swordsman? I, do I try like ice mage or priestess? I mean, it's game two. I won game one, but this is the team that out that beat me. Oh, the night pick. The night pick after the ninja pick. That was inspired. Credit where it's due. Oh, there's a puppy in my room. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? You want to be on the internet? Well, he's not really a puppy anymore. He's almost a year old. Um, Yeah, let's try Swordsman. Come here, buddy. Come on up. You're not supposed to be up on me, but come on up. Come on, come on up. Come on, get up there. Everybody can see how cute you are. Say hi. I'm Ghost. I'm cute. Say hi, everybody. I'm Ghost. Look. You got a toy? You got a toy? Oh, that's my nuts. That's my nuts, Ghost. All right, get down. And that's why he's not usually allowed up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to win here. Oh, VTubers and like deep fake technology and all that is crazy. 
Do a lot of building videos, Kitty says. You'd be a VTuber. I I wouldn't worry about camera lots. People don't do a camera, Kitty. Oh, there, <laughs> there are days I look in the mirror, Kitty, and I, I realize I'm heavier than I've ever been right now, and I don't want to... There are days I don't want to turn the camera on myself either. I get it. Yeah, I'm going to lose here. Kill the snipe. Okay, that was a good one tap. Uh, come on, come on, kill, 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 no, kill. Ah! Oh, the, the ninja's half dead. This is not going to go well. Oh, we killed the sniper. Just, oh, come on, kill the sniper. Oh, yes. God, that was close. Ooh. I did not think I was going to win that. That was really close, though. Like, yeah, I don't know how much health I had left. Ooh. So there we go. First place all on our own now, which is good. With what, one match left? Oh, we got the Gladiator headset. Luchadors up the ladder. Luchadors has won in a decisive match that moved it up the first place. Luchadors won against Careful Cats, recorded 11 wins, 2 losses, and plus 19 points. Excuse me. On the other hand, due to today's loss, Careful Cats moved down to 2nd place, recorded 10 wins, 3 losses, and plus 9 points. Having won an important match, Luchadors is likely to keep showing good results. Careful Cats will have to make up for this defeat by improving their performance and fighting till the very end. Camera thing is a mixture of my anxiety and the fact that I don't want people to see my face due to any stuff. No, I don't blame. Like I said, all kinds of people do VTuber stuff. I, I'm not. I don't think people are going to judge it for it. Warrior Champion Mastery Plus Two. Sure. What do we got here? Come on, give me a keyboard or a controller. That's not a controller. That's a headset. <laughs> Stupid game. Didn't listen to my wants and needs. All right, let's try again. Yeah, I don't, I'm, and Kitty, to be fair, I have no idea how easy it is to get into VTuber stuff. Um, I know you're, I don't, between you and Cody, surely he's can figure it out. Motion tracking hardware, yeah, what's, um, I forget her name. What's the one she started as a VTuber now, and she still does, but she like, she shows off the motion tracking stuff and all the crazy stuff you can do. What's her name? Forget Miko, Code Miko, is that her name? I've seen some of the clips. Yeah, Code Miko, thank you, Eternix. It's crazy with some of the technology you can do, the motion tracking stuff and the VTuber stuff. It's insane. All right, so if we win here, guaranteed buy to the finals. Well, I don't think you need to program it. Like, I think you can just get the stuff you need from like out there out there but i don't know i've never obviously my face is already out there at this point right look i had trouble just setting up my green screen <laughs> to get it to actually work so i'm the wrong guy to talk to or to talk about stuff like that um all right so if he banned ice mage if i ban sniper is he gonna take shrine maiden because if he takes Shrine Maiden, I'm probably in danger. He took Ninja. Well, I'm not scared of Ninja. I think I win this. Programming just lets you mess with it more. You don't need to know any of it. Well, there you go. Games is evil worst is to rust builds. Yeah, I'm not a, I've never, I'll be honest, I've watched zero seconds of rust. I'm aware it is a survival game and is very, can be very unforgiving. Other than that, I know nothing about rust. <laughs> I'm assuming evil worst makes cool builds in rust. Kind of like, um, Oh, no, I forget his name. Aaron Longstaff? Is that the Ark guy? Yeah, who makes really cool builds in Ark. Aaron Longstaff, I think, is his name. 
I think it was it was a kitty. It was either you or Edible that mentioned Aaron Longstaff's name. Well, that was a good swordsman all. Quite good. Aaron Longstaff, yeah, that's what I thought. But yeah, people will definitely watch build videos. I probably, I should probably make videos, like, towards the end of a server, I should probably just make, like, a, like, you know how I do that final server tour after the meteor? I should probably do, like, an edited, condensed version of that server tour, just to show off the coolest builds. The only problem is I feel like I'd be, I'd have to show everybody, or I feel like I'd let be leaving people out, I don't want to, excuse me, I don't want to, like, insult anybody. I don't know. It's an, it's a it's a thought though. Rust can be fun if the entire server is friends, like our ego servers. People doing PvP ruins for me. Excuse me, but that's what Rust is PvP game. Well, that's like Ark. I would never play PvP Ark. Maybe like if I was doing PvP Ark, maybe with people I knew. Like, but yeah, full PvP game with strangers, never. <laughs> um, you're doing well. I believe in you. Like, let's say, for the sake of argument, let's say we were to do an arc cluster like we did last time. It'd be it would be cool or interesting to have one of like we do a server cluster with three or four servers. If we have one of the servers have PvP allowed and the other ones don't, and like say every like Sunday, you know, you have an arena on the PvP server. And we, we say, okay, so bring your three best, you know, Triceratops or Argentavises or Carnos or whatever, and you just meet in the arena. That'd be fun. But it, it, more than that, yeah, I'm not interested in PvP. All right, so I have first pick. Like, I, that's, that's the thing. I don't even know what counters Shrine Maiden. Like, I'm planning to pick Shrine Maiden. What do I what do I even take away from him? <laughs> like as, I feel like as long as I get Shrine Maiden, I'm gonna win. It doesn't matter. <laughs> kind of how I feel right now. Etrunix says, and by the way, it's it's Etrunix, not a Itrunix, right? Like I'd been saying your name wrong. Right? I think I went I I went I went to follow you on Twitch once, and you, in your description you had your, the pronunciation of your name, Etrunix. Yeah, so I've been saying your name wrong all along. I apologize. Um, so he's going ninja. So we'll counter that with knight. Ice mage monk, perhaps, could be trying. Yeah. Yeah, your next eco run, you want to do professions to help you build, and not just tournament. Yeah, because, I mean, the, the one run that you super played a lot Etrunix, you went heavy, um, you went supplier, right? You supplied, um, like, raw materials primarily, right? Which I've done before, and it can be lucrative, but it's also, wait, why am I not getting any kills yet? Um, it can be lucrative, but it's also very busy, right? You don't have a lot of time to build. Um, why is this not going well? Is there something about fighter that's making this hard for me? I mean, I know I'm still winning, but this is not going nearly as well as I expected it. Like, is the fighter CCing the knight and making it hard for her to taunt, maybe? You didn't notice? Oh, well, okay, that's good. Um, people ask for things, and I spent the day working for them. Yeah, I remember. Oh, my God, this went to overtime. Ooh, okay, well, then. So, Ninja is still a bit of a threat. Matt asking for meat. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, I hate bugging people for stuff, but it's, like... And I know I was always, like, oh, I need sand, I need limestone, I need iron, I need whatever... Yeah, see, maybe the monk would have been better. I was thinking knight to taunt the ninja off, right? But monk might be even stronger. 
I mean, I guess I, I guess I still won, but I was close. Yeah, careful cats did not lose much. Man. Yeah, I was... God, was I like the only glass maker of that server, I think? If I wasn't the only glass maker, I was definitely the primary glass maker. All right, so it's the playoffs now, but the way the playoffs work here is... Well, I'll show. I'll show the playoff schedule. Yeah, headset. Attack speed, 1%. I mean, 1% is pretty negligible. I really want a controller, keyboard, please, to fill that slot. <laughs> and yeah, and then you started building and everyone lost their supplier. Exactly. That's the thing about, I, I did the supplier thing one run. I was like, but I wasn't, I wasn't supplying the base products. I, like I went mining, glass working, smelting and advanced smelting. And like, there was one other glass worker. It was either Kiwi or Manny. I forget which one they were working together. But I was like, there was one other smelter, but I was the only advanced smelter. And I just felt like every time I logged in, I just have to go mine. And that's all I had time to do was mine. And look, I'm not a big builder. I don't care if I don't have time to build, but I feel like I didn't even have time to make content that run. It was so rough. All right, so yeah, so let's look at the schedule here. So the way it works is four plays five, then the winner of that plays three, then the winner of that plays two, and then the winner of that plays one. So at worst, I'm finishing second, right? Um, and that means guaranteed promotion to the semi-pro league. Yeah, if you didn't have a skiz here, you couldn't have done that? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I was doing that right from day one. Because this was back on, like, server three when we had much less people, right? So, like, I was doing it right from day one, and it was it was stressful. It's it, I mean, looking back, for various reasons, server three and four are, without a doubt, my least two favorite servers. And, like, there almost wasn't a server five. Hey, there's a controller. Tax speed. Beautiful. All the slots are filled. Let's so the more you put in, the more the longer it takes, but the higher chance of getting rare material. Now that I have all the slots filled, now we can, you know, put a little more in and hope for something rare, right? Yeah, like I understand, like if you're the only person supplying stuff, skid steers are a must. But skid steers also kind of ruin the economy. In a lot of ways. Like I wish there was something. Wish there was something between mining by hand and a skid steer. And hey, look at that. Careful cats in the finals. No surprise. And they kind of. They they greatly. Oh the same one I just got. Skid steers greatly hasten the end of the server. Right. I don't know if you can see that, but I just spilled water all over myself. <laughs> Which is good. Good stuff, Looch. Very, very coordinated. All right, so this is a, this is a best of five. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Etronix. It's, it's really hard. Like, being the supplier sucks in a lot of ways. But you need those people. Somebody's got to do it. Hi, little buddy. I uh, yes, I know it's getting close to your supper time. I know. As soon as I'm done of these finals, that'll be all for the stream, and I'll give you and your sister your supper. Okay, buddy. You got a dip, Tenji. All right, thanks for coming out, my man. Or. Woman, I guess I don't, I shouldn't assume your gender. Um, have a great weekend. Skull says, I would like skid steer use to be skill based where it limits. Yeah, you should need to have mining to use a skid steer. That's another thing that should. 
be a thing. All right, I got first pick. I'm going to ban Ninja this time because I almost lost to Ninja there. Priestess ban? Really? Why Priestess? Sniper, that's fine. So, Dry Maiden Monk. And Kitty, I was about to say, well, maybe I'll consider that a law for next run. But the problem is with with the um, the whatchamacallit system, the settlement system, I don't even know if server-wide laws are really even possible, right? That's the thing. I'll, at some point before the actual server, I will dive into it, test it, and see what's possible and not possible. Like, this settlement system and the way they're changing land claim papers, it's a way bigger change than I thought. And I should probably talk about the match. I, mean, I know if you're here for Teamfight Manager, I'm getting sidetracked by other games, and I apologize. So, Monk and Shrine Maiden. He double-dipped his alts. He used his two alts at the same time. He got one kill out of it. That's going to be his only kill this match, probably. No, oh, oh, Monk's getting low. No, we're good. Yeah, so I, I apologize to the people that are here strictly for Team by Manager. I've, I've, I have, I was doing good for the first, you know, two hours and 20 minutes of not talking about other games, but I've kind of gotten away from that. Double support, man, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I feel like one or both of these are going to get nerfed in the patch coming up. Yeah, that's what makes this game great, though, is the patches. So that, like, especially once you get New Game Plus and you can pick a random pool of champions or a pool of your choosing. Um, uh, the match is not over. Don't lose focus. Every run of this is different, right? Because, you know, you'll have one run where, you know, you Monk got nerfed soon. Monk didn't get nerfed yet, though, right? But, yeah, it's probably going to. Um, yeah, every run's going to be different. You'll have one run where, you know, you you use Shrine Maiden a bunch. It's like one of your main picks. Then the next run, either it's not there at all until late, or it gets nerfed into Oblivion. <laughs> right? Um, I'm going to ban Shrine Maiden. There, what do you think about that game? All right, well, I'm going to go Ninja. He's probably going to go Knight. But I think I'll be okay. Last time this happened, I was fine, I think, right? I'm going to go Monk. I think that gives me enough damage. Let's make my Monk really tanky. I think we'll be good here. You're still going to make your bakery be called Careful Cat's Bakery? Hey, that's fine. I will still eat at the Careful Cat's Bakery. Despite, you know, why would... Hey, he must have been taunted. I was like, why did the ninja go for the knight? Oh, he's going to go for the sniper this time. There we go. One tap. The goddess of darkness for careful cats. I will still frequent your bakery, despite my careful cats, um, you know, PTSD. And, I mean, it's not... If anybody out there has actual PS PTSD, I apologize. You had one run where you had high frequent patches. Yeah, it can get pretty crazy when you do that. First patch goes for double attacks. He was never picked or banned. And then the next patch, he got attack speed. Yeah, well, at that point, Ghost is, it's either, it's ban or pick, right? You need to. Yeah, just <laughs> leave that one in your brain, Kitty. Wow, he only got a second kill. Yeah, Monk needs a nerf, I think. <laughs> Monk is pretty powerful right now. Because it's, that was just Monk. It's not like I had Shrine Maiden with him. He had a sniper, and he still did not kill the monk at all. He managed to kill my squishy ninja twice, but my ninja had 12 kills. 12 and 2. All right, so this is a best five, so it's not over yet. We still got to win one more. But ultimately, winning this doesn't really matter. Like I said, the top two teams get promoted, and, you know, by finishing first in the regular season, we guaranteed promotion, right? Because we guaranteed to be one of the top two. But still, I'd rather win. You do get extra gold, and you do get uh, an extra award. I'll, I'm going to be honest. I do not like the Daddy Luch stuff. I am not comfortable with that in any way, shape, or form. The 
sooner I can kill that, the better. That makes me completely uncomfortable. Just FYI, kitty. <laughs> um, all right. So anyway, <laughs> moving on. That's thing from the Discord. I think I think I have my Discord linked in the description, folks. If you want to join, we do have a Team Fight Manager channel, and if we get enough interest, we could probably run some multiplayer. Oh, somebody linked a screenshot from WoW where there was somebody with a similar name as me, but they referred to themselves as Daddy Luch. Instead of Luchera, they had Luch something else. So they referred to themselves as Daddy Luch. So that's how it started. I did not start it, and nobody else really started it either. But somebody picked up on it, but I think I don't like it. <laughs> Just being honest. Please don't call me that. Of course, there's gonna there's gonna be people who call me that because I say I don't want to be called that. I realize that's how people work nowadays, but all right, so let's just go try and made monk and get to 3-0 here. Yeah, he has no damage. He's not I'm zero deaths. I'm gonna die zero times here. I'm pretty confident, yeah. I'm maybe, maybe with the fighter alt, I get one death. Like, if he times the CC around the fighter alt, maybe he gets lucky and kills me once. But I'm going to say that's it. But yeah, I'm not mad at you for saying Daddy Looch Kitty, by the way, because I've never... This is the first time I've said I'm not comfortable with it, so I'm not... It's fine. Just please don't call me that again. Yeah, I think... Ooh, we got... No, we got, he killed the Shrine Maiden with the Fighter Alt. I thought for a second he killed both, but no, he didn't. So that's going to be it. I'm going to win, like, probably 6-1, 5-1. I mean, I'm not going to get a ton of kills either, because he's tanky. But he's not going to get any kills on me, other than that one from the Fighter Alt. He basically one-shot the Shrine Maiden with the Fighter Alt, because it's a giant circle. So, yeah, I definitely got to see... So, if I was to pick up this save again, like, tomorrow in a stream, it's not a big deal, Kitty. I just, right, it just, it's the first time anybody said it outside Discord. So I, just, I just want to say right away, I don't like that. And <laughs> it is what it is. It's fine. Um, but yeah, if I stream this again tomorrow, would people watch? Do people want to see more? Because um, I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm, it's fun being back in this game. So I haven't, like I said, I haven't played it in a year, so, like, any, you know, any burnout I might have had is way in the rearview mirror. So how many, is what, nine people watching right now? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll stream again tomorrow. It depends. Time. Like I said, I'm home alone with the dogs, too, so I got to take him for a walk. Um, For sure. Any stream you would watch. I'm going to try to start streaming. Like, I'm not going to start streaming every day or anything. But I, I definitely went way too long between streams. I should stream just periodically just to kind of, you know. Um, Yeah, well, like Kitty just said. Kitty will watch. It's because you miss the socializing in the streams. And I did too. Should be around until the current interest comes online. She gets all my attention. Oh, oh I get that. I think, yeah, I think it's Berserker and Lightning Mage? Or Poison Dart Hunter or Boomerang Hunter? Or Devil? No, Devil's later. It's Berserker and something, I'm pretty sure. All right, well, I'll try to at least stream periodically. Although, like I said, this week, I'm going to be busy with the dogs because, like, here's the thing. These two dogs... With my sister and I both working from home and my brother-in-law only works like 20, 25 hours a week. These dogs are used to having multiple people home with them all the time. Um, I always play about Lightning Mage too. I play that. I play Lightning Mage a lot less than most people. So I get that. I forget about it a lot too. All right. So we got 400, 400 gold. Woo. Um, 
So yeah, with the dogs, I might be busy this week, so I don't want to commit to streaming a whole bunch, but I'd like to stream at least some. Got a lot of attack speed buffs. Ooh, the mouse, one attack and one defense. Woo! It's nice to win, though. Thank you, Hip. Berserker Magic Knight? Oh, yeah, Magic Knight. Magic Knight is one... It's like the... I, I pick it way less, but I... Man, Magic Knight is just forgettable to me. Forget about it a lot. I don't plan to ever make a Holy Fans stuff, Kitty. Maybe, maybe if I get in shape, I'll make Holy Fans stuff. Oh, event matches. Um, I mean, event matches are good because they give money. Quick cast. But I want to see the patch. <laughs> So I don't know if I actually want to do what well, uh, I want to see the patch. <laughs> I don't want to do event matches. I mean, I do want to do event matches because the money you get from them is good. And the experience you get from them is good. Another Jack. Yeah, another Jackbox stream would be good sometime. I agree, Kitty. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh. What time is it? Much as I want to see the patch, I think I got an end stream here. I was planning to do no, I was planning to only do two hours and it's almost been three, but I want to finish the season. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one. I'm hungry. The dogs are hungry. Uh, so I got to go feed them and then feed myself. Thanks for coming out, everybody. I know it's been a long time since I streamed, so I wanted to just get a stream out. I figured this would be a good candidate because I hadn't played it in so long and it's a good game and it's fun. Um, maybe I'll stream tomorrow or during the week. We'll see how much time I have. But, uh, yeah, again, everybody hit that like button. Thanks for coming out. I'm actually hot right now. I'm sweating. Have a good one, everybody. Be good to each other. Um, God, I forget my saying. Be good to each other. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.